What's up everybody? I'm gonna show you something. I've decided I'm gonna show you how I make money online. Cause people, one of the most common questions is like, Ty, how do you make money online? Like, what are you doing? I'm gonna show you how I make money online. And I'm gonna actually show you uh, some screenshots. How much money I made today. I have different businesses, different products. And I'm gonna show you the four steps right here, how you can get started, okay? And this is important because most people can never get started. They start, but they get lost in too many details. So just look today. This is one of, I, I have lots of different things I sell online, so I'm gonna be showing you different things. Okay, this is a company, this is a, some products. You know, I love books and I like to learn from books, but I also have a company that sells books online. And here's how much I made. You can see $14,681 today selling books and book related items. This month, the last 30 days, you can see there, $711,000 selling books. Not all four agreements, but just. So, how'd you like to wake up? And the day's just getting started, by the way. Like, $14,000, it'll go up a lot from here. And you can see all the, this is Stripe, a Stripe account right here. You can see $69, $497. What if you could make $14,000 a month? What if you can make $14,000 a week? I'll show you another company. So you know I wear glasses, so I also sell glasses online. That's kind of cool. Um, so glasses, here is what's called Shopify. And you can see today made $644, and then yesterday made uh, $1,600. Now, we also sell on Amazon, so this is just a small amount of the sales. This month on Shopify, $18,000. Dollars and I think we did about a hundred thousand on Amazon. So, you know, it's about a hundred and thirty thousand, something like that, selling glasses. So, somebody said, "Ty, we believe you. You make money." Somebody said they can sell anything. Um, so, let me just get you started on how I make money online. Like I said, today I've made different companies. I think I've made probably fifty to a hundred thousand dollars selling online. Here's selling glasses on Shopify. Let's see, I bet you by the time we go back here, it's gonna go up. Um, this is selling book related stuff, 14,681, 711,000 this month. So how do I do it? Can you do it? Is it only me? I got started a long time ago in the internet. So what I'm teaching you is more than 15 years experience selling online. Me and my business partner right here that own this company, 50-50, Combined, we've spent $500 million on online advertising. So we've spent more than almost any person that I've met. Um, he spent more than me, but I've spent a ton. So I'm gonna show you right now some stuff. So please pay attention, the world's ADD. I'm not gonna keep this video up forever. Like these are videos, if you've been seeing my test groups that I did in the last year, I open them and then I close them. So you snooze, you lose. So what are the four things you gotta do? And this is so simple, you're gonna literally kick yourself that nobody ever taught you this before, trust me. Because, now, I'm not promising you that if you follow these four steps that today you're gonna make 50 to $100,000, okay? That's not what I'm promising you, because I started out figuring out how to make $100 a month, then I figured out how to make $1,000 a month, then $10,000 a month, then I figured out 100,000 a year, and $100,000 a day eventually, so 100,000 a week, then 100,000 a day. So results vary for different people, okay? So some people um, procrastinate, they don't pay attention, and they never make any money, and then they blame like the system. Like you can't blame the system if you suck in how you're doing stuff. But for those of you ready to learn who aren't overly skeptical, I'm gonna show you some stuff, and I'm gonna answer questions live right now. So here's step number one. Step number one, is find common household items. Okay, literally. So I started with the most house, common household items for me, glasses, and these are sleep glasses. I wear these before I go to bed. And I got in business, I have business partners, two business partners that run the business and I'm, part, I'm the third business partner. And we're selling about, I don't know, over $100,000 a month 
uh, of these glasses. Common household item, glasses, right? Books, probably I'm gonna sell uh, with a company called Mentor Box. Common household item, books and book related items, like five to $10 million this year just in that. And I own lots of different products. So it starts to add up. In fact, one of the things you gotta learn to do is build multiple streams of income. The average millionaire, the average billionaire has three or more different streams of income. So when I show you these screenshots, and these are real screenshots, in fact, these aren't even screenshots. These are literally live. You can see, I log in, I go to Stripe, I go right here, and you can see that. You can see yesterday, you can see the last week, you can see the month. See, you can see the last year, we're at $5.7 million. 5.731, so 5,731,817 and seven cents. And that's just a new company, okay? So the first thing is, you need to find, if you want to make money online, you need to just find common household items that interest you. So I brought a few just from around the house. Candles, I got a buddy of mine selling $10 million a year where the candles, okay? Uh, salsa, right here, I don't know who, sal I like this salsa. I know a company down in Texas selling millions of dollars. It's a guy who had a recipe for salsa. I don't know if it's from his mom or something. And beef jerky, right here, common household item. If you like beef jerky, you might have it laying around the kitchen. There's a dude who just built a company, beef jerky company, and in one or two years, he sold it to Hershey's for 200, I think 220 million. You can look up, Google Crave beef jerky, okay? And a lot of, and they weren't really that good at selling online. The opportunity, I call this robotic income. That's what I'm showing you today. So pay attention to this presentation because there was a time in my life when I did not log, I, when I woke up and I logged into my phone, I wasn't making 50,000 a day. My other company, let's see, other products I've sold today, we use our own merchant accounts. So one of them's at 21,000. So combined today, we're already in the days just getting started because we get more sales later in the day. We're at about 50,000 today, okay? And I remember, I feel your pain if right now you have a lot of pressure on you financially, you're not making enough money, your job's not paying the bills for you, you wake up and instead of looking happily at your phone for how much sales have come in online, you know, you're looking at credit card bills, you're looking at the nightmare of of the modern world. The average person in the world these days, literally the average person is saving less than 1% of their income. You can go on the government website. The best years in America is at 5%. Worst years, negative percent, meaning people aren't saving a penny. So you're basically working for the man, meaning you're making some, somebody else rich. If you're not saving any money, you're paying your taxes, so you're making the government rich. You're paying your mortgage, so you're making banks rich but you're not creating any wealth for yourself. So step number one, find a common household item. This is how you break out of that. And I've, I started this a long time ago, done different, many different products I've sold online. I even was in the, if you saw my Snapchat uh, the last day, you know I was out at a, a big club um, and people are shouting out like, dude, how do you get the money to get, I got a table there. I don't do that all the time, but I had some business people in town. So I got a you know $3,000 table. And Don Perry and people are like, how could you do that? I'm like, well, I remember being stuck. Don't think that I can't empathize with your situation because I can, okay? Now I don't worry about it. If it's $3,000, you know, now I got a black card on Amex. It doesn't matter anymore. But it, you, I mean, I still pay attention to expenses, but it's not as bad as it once was. And this is how, one of the ways that I got out of that situation. Find a common household item that interests you. Number two, use Shopify. Now, when I got started, you didn't even have these. It's easier now. Click Funnels or Amazon. These are your three choices. I'm gonna try to go in depth as much as I can during this. Uh, I don't know if I'll have time because there's a lot of different, see if you notice, I use Shopify for some things. We use uh, our own software for others. The glasses company does a lot on Amazon. We've used ClickFunnels. I use my own software, but that's more complicated. I've spent 
about seven million dollars of my own money building software. But that was before this came out. <laughs> it kind of sucks. Now, if I was getting started, I wouldn't have to spend so much money because literally, like, there's software you can sign up to. Most well, Amazon's free. I forget ClickFunnels and Shopify. You could literally be started in like a hundred bucks or less. You can be up and going. So, um, or at least build, starting to build a site to sell your common household items. Now, like I said, I'm gonna talk as much as I can here. Um, and then uh, for those of you, a few of you, maybe 10 or 20% of you that are very interested, I'm forming a uh, private test group. If you wanna be in the test group, I'll put a link to it later. But okay, what do you do from here? Well, there's an important part that most people miss. Because if you just find a common household, I know some people that do this and this, but they don't get the next step down. And the next step, step number three, is you have to connect them to a credit card processor and a, and a bank. And let me talk about this for a second. So different things, I have direct, now that I'm more advanced, I have direct relationships with banks so that I can connect to credit card processing. But if you were just getting started, there's literally something here, and you can see I still use it for one of my businesses. Stripe, you could set up, I think Stripe you can set up for free or very little money. And with Stripe, guess what happens? You are allowed to process Amex, Visa, MasterCard, Direct, you don't have to go directly and have a big account. So that's the next step. And then you wanna set up a business bank account. Don't use your personal bank account to deposit the money. Like this 14,681, or like I said in the last month, this $711,000, Stripe will deposit in a business bank account. And you don't wanna merge those for multiple reasons. One of those, you don't wanna commingle funds if you ever wanna sell the business, you wanna have the accounting straight from day one. You also don't want, uh, for liability reasons, if you form an LLC or S Corp or even a, a, a C Corp, you need to have separate bank accounts or else they don't consider you a real business. They call it piercing the veil. But, so this is the next thing, connect. You can, by the way, everything I'm teaching you, you can get started with in the next 24 hours. Now I know a lot of people watching live. We, there are tens of thousands of people are gonna, are watching this live today. Um, and guess what? Most people procrastinate, we all know that. So some of you ain't gonna get it up, don't blame me. I'm showing you the path right here. So number four, yeah, and when you set up your, your bank account and all that, at some point you're gonna, you should talk to a lawyer and, about whether you should have an LLC or an S Corp Inc. I'll, that's, I don't have time to get into all of that. You wanna get a good accountant too, so that you're, you can use H&R Block, you can use one of those. Okay, the next thing, by the way, for, if you're just tuning in live, I'm talking about how I make money online. I'm showing actual screenshots, I've never done this before, of different businesses. Like I said, this one made 14,600 today already. In the last month, 711,000, that's an actual Stripe account. Um, I'm showing Shopify, and that's selling books and book-related products, books like these, books in a box we mail to people. Uh, I've got, here's the glasses business, selling glasses online. Me and two business partners, James Swanick and his brother Tristan, $1,610 yesterday. Today we've sold 644, plus on Amazon. I don't have the Amazon login on this phone, but Amazon's about triple that, so probably today different products and businesses I have already sold for 50,000 easy and the day's just getting started. We sell more at night and stuff. So what's step four? This is an important step right here. So you got step number one, find a common household item that interests you. Step number two, you use either ClickFunnels, Shopify, or um, Amazon. Step number three, connect it to a bank account. That's very important. Oh, and I wanna I want show you something here. So when I say, um, well, I'll come back to that. Step number four is white label and drop ship. So what I mean is, this is why it's an exciting time for you to be alive. 
A hundred years ago, if you wanted to sell candles, like I showed you, I got a buddy of mine selling $10 million or more worth of household candles, literally, making a living selling candles. If it was 20 years ago, he would have to manufacture the candles himself, which is very complicated. He would literally have to go to a factory, they'd say the minimum is 50,000 candles for five bucks each. He'd have to come up with a quarter of a million dollars on day one which is kind of a nightmare. If you're just getting started, when I first got started, I had less than $100. So I could feel for you if you don't have a lot of money. So what he did, what you can do now, and what he did, you can white label somebody else's candle or somebody else's glasses, and then do drop shipping. You don't even have to store it at your house. That means when somebody buys on your ClickFunnels, your Amazon account, your um, Shopify account, that it goes right directly to the mail, in the mail to them from the manufacturer, from the warehouse. And that will change your life because it's very hard to drop ship if you don't know, uh, I mean, it's very hard to manufacture if you don't know what you're doing. Drop shipping, you don't have to know hardly anything, just what you want. Now, about a year ago, I did a conference in, um, at the Roosevelt Hotel in Hollywood. And there's two 21 year olds were there. Samir and Juan, some of you have seen them on my Snapchat. They took the advice that I gave on how to build businesses. They built this exact thing that we're talking about. They are now 22 years old, Samir and Juan. If you watch my Snap, and I've got some YouTube videos with them. They are shipping about $220,000, was their best month in sales. And right now they're, around, they're averaging around 75,000 a month at 22. Now, I just did another conference, and they said, Ty, we learned, we got started by coming to one of your conferences. You're not here in person with me, but if you're wondering, does this stuff work? Man, there's so many people doing it, you can't believe it. Now, there's people trying to do it and doing it wrong, and if you do it wrong, you're gonna waste your time, you're gonna get discouraged, you're gonna waste money. So how do you do it right? Because I gave you this outline, I wanna talk more in depth on some things because once you accomplish these four things there's other stuff you have to know like you have to know marketing because if you don't know marketing you're not going to be able to get anybody to come to your website there's over 1 billion websites in the world right now over 1 billion websites web pages meaning you can't just put your site up and expect to make money so let's talk about that for a second there's these four things and by the way, going back to my story, like I said, I started with less than 100 bucks, then I figured out how to make 100 bucks a month, then 1,000 a month, and then I figured out how to make 10,000 a month, then I figured out how to make 100,000 a month. I remember when I broke 100,000 a month, it was probably about 10 years ago, I figured out how to make $100,000 a month online, making money online. And I was like, wow, I wonder if you could even make more than that. And then I figured out how to make 100,000 a week that was maybe 2010 or so. And I remember breaking through to 100,000 a day. And actually I've made more than 100,000 in an hour before. In fact, I've made over a million in just one or two days. It's kind of a cool feeling to wake up. I remember waking up and making 700 and about $20,000 from the time that I started that day, went to sleep, woke up and then about 18 hours later, it broke a million dollars. But I want you to know that's a progression. You know what I'm saying? So now, I didn't start out with Lamborghinis, Ferraris, like homes around the world. Like that's not how you start. What you start, I'm giving you the way to start. Step number one, find a common household item. So I'm gonna just ask out right here on live. Who has a common household item? I'm gonna do a real live, get one person started as we speak. I don't, you know, I charge over 100 grand for personal consulting. People ask me, dude, I'll give you 20 grand to, to meet with you. And I just don't do that anymore. I charge 100 grand plus. And so, but I'm going to do one free session because I want to help out everybody, you know, as much as I can. So somebody said spatula, coffee cup, what else? Keyboards, mouses, pillows. Pillows is actually one that this company right here, we're about to go into. Reading pillows, because I like to read. There's a huge market. A lot of people are starting to read. In fact, more books were sold uh, last year than any time in history, especially if you count eBooks. 
So people lay in bed and read. So a reading pillow, that's a good idea. But let me just pick one of these, mugs, blankets, picture. I'm gonna find one that's specific. Some of you are putting really broad stuff like tables or something, desk. Oh, I got, uh, if you saw my Snapchat a couple of days ago, I was at the Bulletproof Conference in Pasadena. <clears throat> There's some guys selling standing desks. So you press a button and it like raises up because people sit too much in work. I'm not sure how much they're selling. I asked them, but I don't remember what they told me. But I would guess they're selling at least $5 million worth of them. Yeah, convertible standing desks, picture frames, key hanger. Let me find one that I think would be a good one. Baby items, it's too broad. Give me something specific, fresh flowers, salsa recipes. Eh, that one's all right. Who wants to figure out how to make $100 a month extra, 1000 Let me just show you something that people get messed up. When I, about in 2004 is when I got my first nice car. I got a Mercedes, the cheapest one, but it was still a Mercedes. And I grew up in a family like no money, like we never had a nice car. We did not ever have a nice car. When I was like 17, I got this car that was three different colors, had a hole in the floor. I was afraid to drive it on the freeway because if you miss the gas pedal, you might put your foot, you could see the road below you. That's the car, I didn't have a, I lived in a mobile home then. I grew up from age 14 to 18 living in a mobile home in Clayton, North Carolina. So there weren't a lot of money. And <clears throat> I figured out something simple though. If you make $400, three to $400 a month extra from what you're making now, you can easily afford a Mercedes. They have deals on Mercedes, like 300 bucks a month. So one cool thing for some of you that are like, die, show me how to make, you know, 10 million bucks a year, that's eight figures. Most people ain't gonna go from zero to eight figures in one year. It, it, it's happened before. The guy, last year a guy started a online website selling stuff to compete with Amazon called Jet.com. He sold it nine months, either nine or 10 months later for $3.1 billion. So it's happened, but that's an extreme case, almost never. More realistic is for you to figure out what if you could make an extra 500 bucks a month, an extra thousand, an extra $10,000 a month? Like, it change your life. Less will change your life than you think. The key is, I'm gonna write this down real quick. What you wanna do is create robotic income. Some people talk about, some people talk about like automated income. Eh, this is more specific. Remember, robots never get tired. How much do you need to make if you wanna make a hundred grand a year? This is a trick question. How much do you need to make per hour to make a hundred grand a year? And a lot of people will say you need to make 50 bucks an hour, and that's correct. But that's only if you are only working like a human, we get tired. If you only work eight hours a day, you basically have to make $50 an hour. And a lot of you don't have a job that's gonna pay you 50 an hour. But let me show you a little magic trick. That's why I said this is a uh, trick question. If you go here to your, I'm gonna go to my calculator. You can do this along with me, $100,000, okay? Divided by 365 days, because a robot can work 365 days. So that's 273 bucks a day. Divide that by 24 hours, because a robot can work 24 hours a day. You only need to make $11.41 to make an extra 100 grand, $11.41. But the key is, you gotta do it 365, 24 hours a day. No vacations, no rest, no sleep. Humans can't do that. I don't care what you say, oh, I'm gonna grind, I'm gonna work hard. You can go work hard as much as you want. If I got a robot working for me, we're always gonna beat you, okay? You need the human that's the brains of the operation. We're not, for the most part, we haven't reached the point of singularity where robots are smarter than humans, but we can build the robots and set them working. That's what I showed you. Click funnels, Amazon, uh, Shopify, these are websites which are run literally by machines. And those machines can run for you 365. And then you only gotta figure out how to make $11.41. So for example, if you're selling candles, let's say you're gonna sell this candle, I don't even know what candles sell for, but let's say this candle's 25 bucks. And let's say your costs are $15. So that's $11 roughly that you make. You only need to sell one candle per hour only 24 a day for you to net 100 grand. No, I'm talking about gross. 11, you know how many candles people buy per year? It's a massive, it's a 
probably, I'm not sure the exact market, but I, I'm sure there's a billion dollars worth of the candle and candle related things if you count decorations and all this stuff. So let's get into this. I'm gonna pick an actual use case. Selling Yankee candle, laptop stands, toy cars, shaker cups, a dog bed. Oh, let's do that one. Let's do dog stuff. The reason I do this is uh, one of my friends is an expert I mean, he sells a ton on Amazon. And I was just talking to him the other day, I actually interviewed him on my podcast. And he, I said, what is one of the hottest things on Amazon right now? And he said, what's hot on Amazon is sell um, pet related stuff. We all know people crazy about their dogs. People will basically spend more money on their dogs than they will on their children, at least some people will. Uh, so dog beds, let's build a business right now. Each of you can steal my idea. I'm not gonna do it. You can have the, the dog. For at least one year, I promise you I won't do a dog bed business, okay? So I'm gonna show you, if you have some guidance, how easy this can be. Okay, dog beds, example business, actual blueprint. I'm handing some of you right now a literal blueprint. So we, get, we got dog beds. Step number one, what did I say? Find the common household item. For some people who have dogs, like I have two German Shepherds, they have little beds. I have two sets of beds, one by the back door and one out on my basketball court. And it's funny, one of my dogs like the dog beds, the other one sleeps on the floor, but one of them, Ando, he's always up on the, uh, he's always up on the dog bed. And later I'm gonna show you, look at this water. They're charging like $1 for water. This thing probably costs them less than one penny. Talk about a common household item. My buddy's selling over $100 million worth of water, teas, all that. Online, by the way. He just got into Walmart, but he started online. So we find that. Step, who can remember? What was step number two? Who can remember it? Who can remember step number two? Somebody said, I want to sell water. Someone says, is it good water? Eh. So what is step number two? Testing your memory. Yes, there we go. We got to set up either Shopify Click funnels, or we can go on Amazon. Now, what I would recommend for this is both of these. You set up two, but you just start with one. So I would start, flip a coin. One thing, when you don't know what to do in life and you've got two equally good ideas, just flip a freaking coin. Half the world, if they don't know what to do, they just freeze up and stop. Don't ever stop. Literally keep a coin or keep a random number generator on your phone. Google has one. Just roll the dice. So I'm going to roll the dice. I'm going to do it. Watch this. Random. I'm going to do this live so people know this is not pre-planned. I'm going to show you. Random number generator. So we'll do one or two. Shopify is one. Amazon is two. Okay. You put in here one or two. Generate. Here we go. Two, Amazon, right there, you see? So no cheating allowed. So we're gonna sell on Amazon. So you basically, it's pretty simple. Amazon teaches you how to do it. You go to Amazon and you become one of their, you know, kind of partners. Now you can actually be an affiliate partner or you can set up your own store. In this case, you wanna set up your own store. The cool thing about Shopify, ClickFunnels and Amazon is they have tons of tutorial videos and you can even go on YouTube. I'm not gonna spend, I, because I don't wanna sit here with my laptop and show you how to do it. It's really simple. You can basically type in, you know, how to set up Amazon store and you'll find an Amazon link. You go log in, you create account, same with Shopify, same with ClickFunnels, all those. Okay, so you get that. That'll take you a little bit of time to go through there, click through, set up your store, set up your settings. Now. If you don't yet have a business account, because that's step number three, um, you can temporarily connect your personal bank account to them, okay? Because um, you're not gonna make money in the first second you set it up and you can switch it out later. So that's what I tend to do. Um, okay, now what's step number three? And this is an easy one. Here is connect, connect the credit card or the bank account, and the bank account, sorry. Now the beauty of doing it with Amazon is you don't have to use Stripe or Braintree. You have Stripe, you have Braintree, you have PayPal. When you sell on Amazon, 
Amazon takes care of all that for you. So it's pretty easy, right? Amazon literally does it for you. By the way, if you're just coming in late, we are talking about how I make money online. I've been showing screenshots, making 50 grand a day, different businesses, Shopify, Amazon, uh, uh, Stripe, all those showing actual, not even screenshots, showing you live right there making money. Let's see if we made any money. Wow, I, I like to look at One of my buddies, I launched another company that sells um, supplements and the CEO of that company, it's hilarious. He's never had an automated business like this. He's always had traditional businesses. He owns real estate. He owns a paintball field. He owns a, um, a car a mechanic, like a, a shop that works on rental cars for like Hertz and stuff. Anyway, he's like, dude, I'm addicted to my phone. I log into these alerts and I see myself making money and I'm just like in heaven, you know? You can see all these 17 minutes ago, $69 charge, $497 charge. You can see literally in the time that I'm doing this whole call, probably make a thousand bucks or more. Like I said, my peak, I, I, the most I've ever made in one hour is probably one or $200,000 in an hour. The most I've made in like a day or two is a little over a million bucks. And this is just selling online. So, okay, so you connect the credit card. If you're using Amazon to sell your dog beds, just set it up to your bank. I use Bank of America. I use, uh, I got a bank, in, um, Bank of America, Chase. I used to use Citibank sometimes, they're okay. But Bank of America, but it, there's no special bank. Like most banks in America are the same. If you're outside of America, you can do HSBC. You can do, there's a lot, a ton of merchant banks. You can, uh, Royal Bank of Scotland is a good one up in Canada. But just keep it simple. Whatever bank you're already using now, use that. But eventually you need to walk in there and tell them you want a separate business bank account. Don't mingle your funds. And whenever you are setting up a business expense, use your business account. When you go to the movies, personal. You know, don't, don't mix. It gets too complicated with the, with the IRS too. Okay, now, so you got your dog beds. All this can be done literally in an hour. And then step number four, step number four is we need to white label the products and drop ship. So a cool thing is there's a company started by one of the richest men in the world. His name, Jack Ma. Jack Ma, M-A, literally like your mother, Ma. Cool story, he went from really zero dollars to building Alibaba and Alipay and multiple companies in China, which you can access right through the internet and ha connect to people who will make your dog beds for you. They will ship the dog beds to Amazon's warehouse for you. You can sit at home, you can be traveling, you could be on the beach. None of the stuff, you don't have to warehouse, you don't have to hold stuff, you don't have to fill up your bedroom with dog beds and you can order them in relatively small quantities. Now, the bigger the quantity you buy, the cheaper you'll get them for, but you can buy them for relatively small quality quantities. They'll ship them to Amazon's warehouse, and then when someone buys your dog bed on Amazon, the warehouse, you know that Amazon now has robots. A robot will come down, grab your dog bed, pull it out, put it in a FedEx package or whatever, or post, you know, postal mail, mail it to your customer, and then just send you a check for the profit. Pretty cool, right? Amazon will keep a little bit for their work, for their postage and all that. That's your first money. Now you got money coming in for dog bed. Jack Ma, by the way, for those of you don't believe, who believe dreams can't happen, you cynics out there, Jack Ma used to be an English teacher in China. He made 80 cents a day. Now you might think your pay is bad. He made 80 cents a day, Google it. He was making $20 a month, okay? So I don't know, he's making between 80 cents, maybe a dollar a day, a dollar. Can you imagine working for a dollar a day? That's literally, if you work eight hours, he was <laughs> working for like 10 cents an hour. And he took that and he built this drop shipping company. Now it does many things. Now it does credit card processing and other stuff. And he built that, and he's not the richest man, but he's one of the richest men. I think he's worth 30, 
or $40 billion. And guess why he's so rich? Because he's made a way for you to drop ship products. And by the way, there's other options besides China, okay? For those of you who get in my more advanced program, I'm gonna open up a small test group. If you, I'm no forcing you, I'm doing this as a free call, literally as a free training. Um, but for those of you who want some more advanced help, for the next two months, I will train you, me and my business partners, will show you step by step how we do it. Because there's some more advanced stuff. Some things you don't want to get from China, um, and from China you can basically also drop white label American companies or from other companies around the world. If you don't only have to use Alibaba, I'm just giving you an example of a simple way to start. And Alibaba, basically, you go on there and you search and you find the products. Remember I told you Samir and Juan, two of my students, they were in at one of my in-person conferences uh, about a year and a half ago. Now they're making uh, between 75,000 is a low month for them online to about 200, I think their peak they told me was 220,000 in the summer. They made 220,000. So they're gonna make you know two to four million dollars. They're not even 25 yet. And they do a lot of stuff from different sources, but they started getting stuff from China because you can get it for cheaper. If you have an ethic, some people don't like China, they wanna buy American made, there are options to white label from American places, okay? So you don't have to freak out uh, about that. So, one big thing that I haven't covered, and let me just say this, it's how do you get customers? Because if you just put it on Amazon, if there's other people selling dog beds, they might be, when people type in dog bed, you might be on page 10. And you don't wanna be on page 10 for the most part, because if you're on page 10, we, let's be honest, most of us when we search on Google, when we search on Amazon, we don't scroll 10 pages down, right? So there's a whole system on Amazon, there's a system on the internet, and let me just go into some of that. Um, and I know a lot about this, by the way. Me and my business partner, Alex, combined, we've spent $500 million on online advertisement. He's spent more than me. But we've spent more than almost anybody, any two individuals that in the world. There's people who have spent more, but not many people. So I'm not telling you this from like, I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? We spent, I'm one of the biggest YouTube advertisers in history. Uh, he spent more on Facebook, but I spend a ton on Facebook. So I've probably spent 20 to 40 million on YouTube ads, because YouTube ads is newer. Facebook ads started back in 2008. But I started with Google AdWords in 2001. So I've been, I've been at this game a long time. You know, I started as an entrepreneur when I was still a teenager. So what I'm telling you, you need to listen. This isn't stuff that you can get in a book. You can't get this in a university class, trust me. A lot of, a ton of universities are teaching my stuff. It's funny, they take my YouTube videos. Students all the time Snapchat me, oh my professor here is, is using your video to teach marketing. Well, you can go there and learn or you can just learn from me. I've taught at Harvard, I've taught it, not as a professor, but I've spoken at Harvard, I've spoken at London Business School, top business schools in the world, USC, those, Harvard and, London Business School are number one and number two in the world right now, ranking for business. So let's talk about something. So here's you, here's you, okay, and here's your website. Now, there's one billion other websites out there, okay? Literally one billion, more than a billion web pages. Depends if you want to count websites or web pages. But it's an insane number, right? By the way, for those of you just streaming in, I'm talking about household items. We got here, we just made $89 in the last minute selling books online. You can see it went up. You can see the little American Express card, $89.95. So that's the cool thing about the internet. While, while I'm talking to you, making money. People are like, Ty, how do you get Lamborghinis? How do you get Ferraris? How do you get that stuff? You gotta have robotic income. You have to know how to make money online. There's never been an opportunity. People. I love cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and all that. Those are all huge opportunities. I love investing in real estate. I just bought 100 acres. I'm working on 1,100 acres to develop and all this stuff. Here's the problem. Nothing, nothing yet is as tried as true 
in terms of robotic income as the internet, making money online. There isn't. Like real estate has made the most millionaires, but real estate's been around for 300 years. Internet's really only been going at the earliest 1994 when Amazon started. That's the beginning of the internet, so to speak. But it's really been the last 10 years. So guess what happened? This year is the first year that more things were bought online for Christmas, for just during the year, than were bought at stores. You know stores are going out of business. We've seen bankruptcy of American Apparel, which was a $600 million clothing line, gone. They had too many stores. Nobody buys from stores that, I mean, people buy from stores, but not that much. Look what happened to Sears. Even Walmart has now been crushed by online because Jeff Bezos owns Amazon and he's made his site big. Even though there's a billion other places, people can go on the internet. How did he get so many people to go to his? And that's what I want to talk to you guys about, okay? Macy, someone just said, uh, Eric Laura said, Macy's is bankrupt. That's right. Wendy, uh, Woody on, says, uh, rest in peace, Toys R Us. Did Toys R Us go bankrupt? Blockbuster, of course. Banana Republic's closing stores. Target is closing stores. Guess what, though? This is creating the biggest opportunity in history. Because people are still buying stuff, but they're switching. I'm gonna give you a perfect example of this. A guy in California about 2010 built a little app. Nobody liked it. It was an app, it was an address book. Okay, it was an address book. And guess what? It didn't work. So he switched it. He said, I'm gonna upload, I'm gonna make a little site you could upload your pictures and share them with your friends. Now, there was an old company called Kodak. It had been around for 100 years, billion dollar brand. In two years, Kodak was bankrupt, done. No longer in business, no longer on the planet. And guess what? This website right here, Instagram, was what he renamed his site. In two years, he sold this for $1 billion, and now, more people use, basically use Instagram almost than Facebook. More people still use Facebook, but there's a reason Facebook bought Instagram, because they knew Instagram almost could kill Facebook. It's, people love it. Look at Netflix. I'll show you another app on my phone. Guess what Netflix sells online? They're selling common household items. If you lived 20 years ago, you would have had basically VHS or beta, uh, you know, these old, cartridges you stick in into a, into a VCR. It's funny saying VCR. It's like BCR. It's a word you don't even say anymore, man. VCR. Now you know what you say? Netflix and chill. That's all people say. Look, Netflix right there just passed 100 million customers paying them 9 to 12 bucks and they just raised the price. Here's the cool thing about owning a company with 100 million customers. If you raise the price by one or two dollars, you make an extra $200 million a month if you raise it $2. Somebody said, Colin B said, VCR and chill. <laughs> yeah, there ain't no VCR and chill, sorry. But I'm telling you, for those of you who catch the trend, who aren't too cynical, who open your mind, who learn marketing, who learn the fundamentals, guess what? Somebody's gonna make the next Netflix. Somebody's gonna make the next Instagram. Somebody's gonna put blockbuster type companies gone out of business. What's the next blockbuster? Let's predict right here live. What's the next company that's gonna be out of business? Someone said, bro, he was just lucky. Reed Hastings who started Netflix. Okay, a lot of people are lucky. The question is how can you get on the lucky side of the stick? There's a line through the sand. Some of you are gonna sit on the unlucky side and yes, you can't completely control your luck. I've been lucky. I was lucky enough to be born healthy. You could be born with you know, health issues, that's luck just being, but, but you, can't, you can't say that everything's luck. It's not all luck. Somebody said Chipotle. Yeah, Chipotle's in trouble. Chipotle was almost, if you talk to people, almost the most popular place to go five years ago. Like people love Chipotle, people are like, let's go to Chipotle. They're like, let's go to Chipotle and then let's go to Netflix and chill. <laughs> but you know what? They did. One problem with Chipotle, in my bi uh, opinion, they don't do online very well. Like, for example, there's a company now, anybody use uh, like Uber Eats? 
Like Uber Eats, you can order right through your phone and an Uber driver or a delivery person brings you, uh, phone. what's the other one? There's another, Postmates is another one. So guess what happened? Like Chipotle's, McDonald's, they're just getting on the bandwagon now. What's, remember I said step number one, sell simple household items. What's more simple than food? And Chipotle got in trouble. McDonald's revenue is down. One of the biggest companies and brands ever in human history in terms of recognizability, McDonald's. They own Chipotle for a while. I think it got bought back, I'm not sure, but they didn't get on the bandwagon and now McDonald's sales in the United States going down. And guess what's going up? Uber Eats. Uber Eats, like you go to college campuses and you can see trends on college campuses because college campus kids are gonna graduate. They're the consumers of the future. They're your customers of the future. They're buying stuff and having it just delivered to them. I'm serious, it's, I've actually heard it's a problem in some colleges, people stealing Uber Eats. They'll just like intercept the Uber Eats person and be like, yeah, that's me. And then you know how like the Uber person will be like, John? And then if your name's like Bob, you'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah my name is John, thanks for the food. And they just meet him at the door. Like that's how, even Netflix, Netflix is so big. You know something's big when people are trying to cheat it. Netflix, people are logging in with their friends logged in and all that stuff. Like these companies are killing it. And Chipotle didn't get with the ga game. They just didn't get with the game. Now they might try to catch up, but it's hard to catch up. So what do you have to do to create a brand, whether it's selling simple household items like dog beds, like books, like beef. I'm getting in this, this game I'm getting in, beef jerky. This is something, I'm gonna sell it online. Crave built a company in a one or two years, sold over 200 million bucks. My goal is to build a beef jerky, but they, didn't, they sold it like 7-Eleven. I'm like, forget that. I'm gonna put this up on Amazon, I'm gonna put it on Shopify or ClickFunnels. I'm gonna sell it directly to people in a, in a box, a protein box. And it's already a one to two billion dollar industry and it's controlled by one main company called Jax. So don't be afraid to be curious. Look at the household items that are already around you and disrupt those things. Now, let's talk about marketing, because this is an area that I've done a lot of work in. This is kind of one of my specialties. Let me just give you some recommendations to get your dog bed company or whatever it is you're gonna sell. Number one, you really can't be afraid of controversy and and being and standing out and people are really afraid of that but for good or bad we are in the Kardashian age the Kardashian family uh, you might not uh, uh, like everything they do and everything they stand for but they are marketing machines the daughter Kylie Jenner makeup company She's predicted to be one billi a billionaire before she's 25. Maybelline, L'Oreal, the biggest brands in the world. They took 50 years to catch up and she's selling the same, it, it, what took them 50 years she's doing in her first year at 20 years old. I think she's pregnant, she's pregnant, you know, so she's got a lot on her hands and she's still built a business bigger than brands that have 2,000 employees or L'Oreal probably has 50,000 employees. The game's changed. Why do people know of the Kardia Kardashians? Because they're not afraid of a little controversy. You know, they kind of got started, Kim started with a little controversial video. I'm not saying you gotta do a sex tape, okay? But controversial. And so you, your dog beds, I, it doesn't have to be negative controversy, by the way. It could just be funny controversy. What I'm calling controversy, maybe a better word for it, is standing out. So what I see a mistake people doing, they follow the instructions, and I know I'm about, I'm gonna open up this test group in a little while, I'm gonna put a button below. I know some people, and I'm gonna try to screen them out, they're gonna try to get in this, this test group, and they're gonna just try to do what every, they're gonna see somebody else's you know, beef jerky website or somebody else's candle company, some, and they're gonna like exactly make their marketing the same. I'm like, that's not gonna work. You can't be the same. In a world of one billion web pages or more, you're just gonna get lost. So for me, I knew when I did my Lamborghini video 
that it would piss some people off because we all know we live in a world where people get butt hurt if somebody has something they don't have. And nothing makes guys more butt hurt than somebody has a cooler car than them. Trust me. For all of you that are make a lot of money, uh, there's a guy, there's a kid up in um, LA. He's 22. He sells online. So I think he's selling about 100, 200,000 a month. He just bought a Huracan. And I told him, that's a Lamborghini. I have an Aventador. He's got the, the little Aventador. It's called a, a, a Huracan. And I'm like, dude, people, especially guys, are going to see that and they're going to get mad at you. But don't worry about the controversy because the controversy will make you stand out. Now, don't go murder somebody and then go, oh, Ty told me to be different. Like, murder isn't going to help you sell. Okay, don't throw somebody off a bridge while they're in, like, throw a dog bed after them and be like, look, this is going to be all over the news. It's going to be all over the news, but you're going to be around to enjoy your profits, okay? So you got to use a little common sense, which is no longer common. But what you might do with a dog bed is, I don't know, what, what's something funny you could do with a dog bed? I call this the, the brand story. You have to create a controversial brand story, an interesting brand story. What it, okay, I'll tell you one that's controversial, but not really controversial, it's more uplifting. For every dog bed that people buy, you will don't you will take a dog out of a dog shelter. I am giving you guys, I guarantee you a business idea right now. We'll see who's smart enough to take it. Trust me, I'm good at marketing. If you build a company like Tom's, you know, Tom's was a shoe company. For every shoe, pair of shoes you bought, they gave a pair of shoes to like homeless people or needy people. It helped grow their business. I think Tom's is a billion dollar brand now. Uh, glasses company. Warby, is it Warby Parker or one of those? Every time they sell a pair of glasses, they give a pair of glasses to people in poor countries to help them, you know, people can't afford frames. So what if you take your, you, people love dog charities. What if you take your dog bed and you say, for every dog bed uh, that you purchase, I am going to send you a picture of the, dog, the puppy that you saved from being put down in a dog pound. You rescued a dog. Or, you know, or, or maybe if that's too expensive, you could say for every 10 beds that are sold, we'll rescue one dog. I promise you, that's going to go, that stands out from the crowd. That's going to go viral. You're going to get picked up uh, uh, by probably mainstream and local news for sure. If you shoot that out to local news, CBS, NBC, their little no local station, they're, gonna, they're always looking for stuff. For sure. If you do it right, you're gonna get picked up on larger and larger outlets. If you start posting pictures on Instagram of the puppies that you saved, the dog, it doesn't have to just be puppies, it could be older dogs that you saved, and you make that at least 50% of your posts on Instagram. Dude, Instagram posts go crazy with animals. One of the biggest sites out there um, has like 35, 40 million followers is 9gag, and 9gag posts a ton of, um, uh, a ton of animal pictures. So your Instagram, your website is going to stand out massively. I mean, this is, and you're doing a good deed. So you're creating good karma if you believe in karma. And what goes around comes around. You start, you start if you can say after three years in business that you saved 1,000 dogs from being put down, you rescued 1,000 innocent dogs, and you have their picture on one of your pages on your website, you think you're gonna stand out? Like this, I'm giving you guys gold. Sometimes people are like, Ty, do you give away free ideas or only in your paid programs? I'm like, well, I have paid programs, but I give away a lot of stuff free. I just passed one billion free minutes watched on YouTube of my videos. I actually just passed a million followers. So thank you all of you who subscribed, I appreciate it. But it's enough about me, it's about how can one of you or two of you, there's room for 10 of you, 100 of you to just be in the pet space alone. There's so many opportunities, healthier pet food, you know, better items for pets, like better toys that maybe, like you see all these plastic toys, somebody should make toy, like plastic's not the best for dog's teeth, it's synthetic. Somebody's gonna come up with some crazy, cool, you know, recycled, product that also makes a, a dog's teeth, you know, dogs need to chew to keep their teeth healthy. They're not like us. They got canine fangs, right? So 
Now, let me take a few questions on this, but I want to keep going with this. And I want to show, for some of you, I want to talk about this test group because I'm opening us up for the first time in history. I have never, ever done a test group on how to sell and make money online with common household items. The reason I pick house, you know, I've done social media marketing agency, I've showed people how to invest in real estate, I've built the 67 Steps program. Like I've had hundreds of thousands of people go through my paid programs. Uh, but what I love about this test group, I'm gonna take a handful of you. There's gonna be a small percentage of you, trust me, that watch this. I'm a million people gonna watch this video over time uh, easily. And I'm only gonna let a small percentage of those in. I'm not gonna let 10% in or anything like that. And guess what? Those of you, I will help you over two months, okay? For two months, me and my team will help you build this whole thing and get you started. If you think I can't help you, you're crazy. I've done this a long time and helped a lot of people, okay? So somebody says, is this just scarcity? Is this just BS? Ask all the people who thought I was joking about my real estate investment course that I launched. I think the, the best guy in there is making $40,000, $50,000 a month starting with zero and no credit. And then I closed down the test group. And all the people were like, oh, were you really joking about it? They're like, wait, 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 can I get in now? And I'm like, nope. When I say I'm going to open it and close it, I did. And sometimes I'll do scholarships and close the scholarships and stuff like that. So yeah. One of my things, I'm gonna, let me give you a little side note. In life, you're gonna encounter cynics and skeptics. Never try to change their mind because they're telling you who they are and you want them. I call smoking it out. You wanna smoke out skeptical people in your life because for those of you who pay attention, like Juan and Samir, there's so many people. My social media marketing program, top guys making 125, uh, no, 145,000 a month right now at 22. When people don't believe him, he's like, dude, I tell people what I'm making. And one year ago, he didn't even have a bank account. They don't believe me. I said, his name's Jaden. I'm like, Jaden, you don't want everyone to believe you. Why would you want everybody to believe you and then they'll go out and compete with you? You want idiots in this world. I'm being honest. I know it's not the nicest thing I've ever said, but I, it, Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger say, if it wasn't for the stupidity in the world, they wouldn't be so wealthy. Second richest man in the world's like, mm, part of why I'm rich, it's not just luck, it's that so many people are skeptical, cynical. Like even in the face of insurmountable evidence, like Netflix, and you don't think there's a crap load of internet entrepreneurs making money like you're that stupid? Like I gotta meet some of these people in real person. It's funny, no one ever comes up to me in real life. I don't know if they're scared or whatever. I'm like, who are you? Who is the dude? that thinks people ain't make money online. Like I get it in 2001. I started with Google AdWords the second month it came out. Back then, when I would tell people I'm doing Google AdWords, zero people knew what I was talking about, okay? It's 2017, 2018, like you, still, you don't think people make money online? I laugh at you in an in a empathetic way. Maybe it'll wake you up. Some people gotta be laughed at to wake up. I don't really laugh at you. I don't really delight in the stupid. Half the problems in the world are because we got stupid people. I'm gonna go to World War III with North Korea because we got stupidity flying around everywhere. So I don't really delight in stupidity. I'm more like astounded because how can you not believe it in 2017? Evan Spiegel made $1 billion before he's 25. It's never happened in history. Like never. Never. I was just, if you saw my um, live stream like three days ago, I was with Naveen Jain. He made $8 billion in 1998 with the internet. You don't believe that? <laughs> you, think, you don't think that is real? Oh my, oh my God. But for all of you who pay attention, be excited with these people because you never want to be selling dog beds when 100 million people sell dog beds. Like that's too many. There's room for, I gotta go live here again on Instagram. <clears throat> There's room in this world for a thousand people to be selling on Amazon and making a ton of money with pet products, 
okay? I'm talking about how to make money online. Let's see if I made any money. I'm gonna show you. Let's see if we made any money while I've been doing this talk. So I'm sh I've been showing screenshots. Let's look at the glasses company. It's kind of cool. Household items. I always say sell stuff that you wear, that you use. Here. So just on ClickFunnel, uh, Shopify, sorry, 18,810. On Amazon sold about triple that. We've done about 100,000 uh, plus there. Uh, books. Let's look what we've sold in the last 30 days. I'll show you. This isn't even a screenshot, guys. This is the actual login to my Stripe account. 711,474. You don't think that's real? You think it's made up? You don't think I sell books? Go to mentorbox.com. It's all over the internet. We're marketing it all over Facebook. My business partner, I own a 50-50 with a guy. Some of you need a bit more business partners, by the way. If you're scared, if you're fearful, if you procrastinate, if you're not outgoing, if you don't like business networking, find a business partner that's the opposite of you. You know, find someone who's opposite. Someone saying, Ty, you seem very confident. Let, let me just show you a little side thing. That's very important. More important than anything I've shown you today. You basically have this part of your brain, okay? I'm not a good artist at all, as you can tell. And inside your brain, there's like these little things. They're kind of like antenna. And I'm oversimplifying it, but I'm trying to explain it, okay? They're dopamine receptors. Dopamine receptors. And here's how do what dopamine does. Dopamine is the drug that basically makes you confident, okay? Confident, it gives you reward. It makes you like when you buy something and you feel like good, that's all dopamine receptors. Dopamine is a, it's a chemical in your brain. We have dopamine, you have neuroepinephrine, you have, uh, well, you have stress hormones, other parts of your body like cortisol. Um, and so you have to understand how to motivate yourself. Because I can show you how, to, how I make money online, but if you're not confident at enough, you'll basically not do it. So here's how dopamine receptors work. When you win, your body literally grows new dopamine receptors. You can Google it. When you lose, your body sheds dopamine receptors. So if you look at someone like Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg or Warren Buffett, these people who have been winning at everything they do, guess, you know, Bill Gates' first company that he ever built started around 12 and he built it when he was about 16, 17, 18, was Microsoft, which made him the 18 time richest man in the world. So if you were to go inside Bill Gates' brain, he's grown a tremendous amount of dopamine receptors, which makes him confident and ambitious. But for you and I, who might have gone through the regular school system, who might have had parents that don't believe that you can break out of your economic situation, for those of us who might have friends that always pull you down, okay, guess what? you probably don't have as many dopamine receptors as a guy like Bill Gates or Zuckerberg or what Steve Jobs had. So what, I'm, what I wanna say to you, and one of my goals of the test group that I'm gonna open up in a, in a few minutes, is I wanna take a small handful of you, and I not only wanna show you how I make money online and how you can copy, like I'm just gonna give you copy what I did, more in depth, because we don't have time. Give me two months, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step, online videos, Gonna do a live call once a month uh, to actually train you live. We have a private group where you can ask questions every day and people in the group and different people who are uh, my business partners will actually share with you their secrets if you need a specific answer. Um, my goal is at the end of the two months, not just that you make money online, whether it's a, an extra 100 bucks a month, an extra $1,000 a month, an extra 10,000, that's not the point. I wanna rewire you for success. And I know that sounds cheesy, but the older I get and the more I do, the more I realize, hey, it's true. And a lot of people can't handle that truth. A lot of people say, oh, it's the system that makes us suck. It is the system, but what are you gonna do about it? You have to fix your brain that was wired incorrectly by the system. I promise you, 
new technology is coming out. We're going to be able to put things on people's head and literally fMRI machines. We already have those. You can look into people's brain and be like, this person's wired for failure. They're wired for, they're going to try. It, it's, I see people who try to make money online. They fail at everything they do. And I know why. It's not enough to just have that know-how, right? You can't just know how to do something. You actually also have to have the confidence and the motivation and the ambition and the faith. All those things play in. Trust me, you've got to have the emotional stability. And for some of you, you can just go take everything I talked about today and go do it on your own. I have people that do that. And then I have people like, you know, Samir and Juan. They, I do seminars at my house. They pay $10,000 to show up for me to help them. So they are like, well, the more you invest in yourself, oftentimes the, be the better info you get. The more you learn, the more you earn, you know? So I just wanted to take a little sidetrack because I want to go into more practical stuff, but I'm afraid for some of you because I'm afraid that I give you these practical things. I show you the screen, the, like the, the online login, you can't even argue. I usually don't show that but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna show it because some people are so skeptical and so timid and fearful that I just gotta show it. It's kinda like I was on H3H3. Some of you saw H3H3 a long time ago, did a funny video about me. He's like, oh, Ty rented this house for one day. Well, we've gotten to know each other and uh, kind of become friends. And so he had me on his podcast. It's a huge podcast. Him and his wife, they, Hilla, they kill it. Ethan, Hilla, and... Um, and when I was on there, a lot of people have been writing me, like pouring into my Twitter and Instagram, being like, hey, like, oh, now I see that this is real. Like people need encouragement. It's like they got to see for a while. So that's why I decided to do this live call, because I wanted to just show you people like that I'm making money right now as we're talking. Like it's it blows my mind sometimes. I'll tell you what blew my mind. This happened about two months ago. I posted screenshots on my Snapchat. A lot of you saw it. And I said, in the last hour, I made $22,000. And it's not the most I've made, but it, it was a decent hour, right? 22 grand. And it's pretty much almost all profit. It was probably. So there's gross profit, net profit. There's EBITDA. Uh, we'll just call it gross profit, meaning once you subtract the cost of goods, right? So I made like 20 grand, and I was thinking when I was growing up, my mom in one year, I'm almost sure, never made more than $20,000. And here I am in, she, in 365, my mom was a single mom, raising me, working, trying to take care of me. She used to have to leave me at home with no babysitter sometimes because she didn't have enough money. And I'm like, man, this world has changed. I don't have a college degree. And I'm making more than she made in a year in 60 minutes. It's like, and, and I'm not, again, I'm not promising that everybody here, this isn't a get rich quick scheme. That's not what I'm trying to do. This is, um, I'm trying to show you what's possible. People go, dude, do you have Lamborghinis and Ferraris so you can just show off? No, the truth is I got my first nice car. No, I got a Mercedes in 2004. I don't really count that. In 2008, I bought a Maz I got a Maserati, okay? And that was a cool car, Quattroporti. And I never posted it on social media, ever. I sold it in 2012 or 13. And I never once showed it off. I mean, I showed it off on the road. I had a Ferrari in 2009. Never once showed it off. But now I show the cars not to show off me. And I know some people aren't going to believe that, and that's good. Some people don't believe in anything. Some people think the, the earth is flat. Just, oh, that's, <laughs> I am done with trying to convince everybody. What I'm saying is there's a whole group of people who go, dude, I grew up with nothing. I've never made money on life. My parents had a dead-end job. I got a dead-end job. But when I see some of the pictures you post, I'm like, how'd you get that? And then it leads to a conversation that helps them, not me. It helps them and not me. Somebody said, dude. Show us the online login. Okay, this is a, this is a skeptic and a cynic. I'm gonna show you. Well, I'm not gonna give you my login. You think I'm dumb? But you can see right here. This is real time, so it can't be faked. This is Stripe. Mentorbox LLC. You can Google Mentorbox LLC. It shows 
one week, two weeks. This is not a screenshot. You see how it's changing? $5.7 million in the last year selling books and book related stuff. So that's as, that's as good as you ever gonna get. How many business people show you? That's just one of my companies, one of my products. I got lots of products. I, I make about fifty dollars to $100,000 a day now and online. And then I do other stuff offline like real estate and some stuff like that. But I, I, my primary income has always been from online, not from real estate. I do real estate as a diversification tool. So let me just do this real quick because I wanna take more question and answers. But I wanna put up the link to, in a, uh, I'm gonna put up a link um, and I'll also, yeah, I'll put up a link to the test group in a little bit actually. I'll put it, and some of you won't be able to see it live for whatever reason. Don't have a heart attack. Follow my social media. I'll have it open for a little bit. Um, I'm not sure how many days I'll have the test group open for, but you can come back. If you are on my Snapchat, my Instagram story, you'll see the link. So if you don't see it, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it below, but if you don't see it below, don't have a heart attack. And don't fill up all the live chats going, where's the link? Just listen to what I'm saying. And uh, yeah, so what are you gonna get in the test group? This is how it works, it's very simple. Where'd I put my marker? Marker, okay. So, oops, where's the other marker? There was another one. Nathan, where is it? Oh, I had it next to the hot sauce that I was showing you how to sell, and so I, <laughs> it looked like hot sauce. Okay, so here's how the test group works. It's two months, okay? Part of it's online, so you can access it on your phone or you can access it on your uh, laptop, iPad. And then part of it's live, okay? So we have li like live call-in or live streaming. So some of it's pre-recorded like step-by-step -step classes that way you can listen to it at any time you want. You can listen to it at three in the morning. You can watch it at afternoon. I don't care if you live in you know, Madagascar, if you live in London. And then the live stuff will have it preset uh, and you'll just, you can call in or even better, you can live stream it, but that's live. So you can't, you gotta go and show up at the time. But if you miss it, don't worry, it'll be online. Now, what are you gonna learn? This is the key thing. What you're gonna learn is, number one, what I call selection mastery. You have to select. If you notice, when I was doing this live stream, I was like carefully selecting. People were throwing out all kinds of ideas. People were like, oh, yeah, sell, can you know, sell candles, sell light bulbs, sell toothpicks. Like, some things you pick will not make you much money. Let's just be honest. You ever watch Shark Tank? There's some stupid ideas in the world. You pick a stupid idea, put dumb in, you're gonna get dumb out, okay? So I wanna show you, first thing we're gonna do is how to correctly select the household items that you're gonna sell. And there's a whole set of, I call it selection mastery. I wanna show you how to master that because I don't want you to just sell one thing. If you notice, I showed you screenshots for multiple products that I have. Why? The average millionaire or billionaire has three forms of income. So we're gonna, you're gonna learn the keys to robotic, automated income. Robotic, automated income. We're gonna talk about how to create, over time, three different diversified income sources. Because mark my words, a recession is coming in the next one to two years. Could, I could be wrong, just to say. But we know that capitalism goes in cycles. The last real recession was 2008. About every seven to 10 years, something happens. Uh, so if you have multiple streams of diversified income, you do better. Because there's more of a chance that if you just have one stream of income, it gets hit and the recession knocks you out. But I've gone through two recessions when I was selling online, didn't affect me at all. In fact, those years, 
I did as well or better than any other year. Okay, somebody said Jesus will come back. Well, if that happens, uh, then you don't need any of this. If you're no longer on the planet, not important. Okay, so number four, I'm going to show you when to use ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels versus Shopify versus Amazon versus WordPress. Some of you can use WordPress. I didn't talk about that, yes. Versus your own custom built site. So to sell online, you have to have a website. With these tools right here, you won't have to kill yourself to build it. That's the cool thing. ClickFunnels, it's a website that you can build your own site and it's optimized for marketing. Shopify, optimized to sell lots of things. It's, it's, although you can do that on all of these. Amazon, you get to tap into 100 million people already buying on Amazon. So there's real advantages there. I'll show you how to use them in combination. WordPress, if you're selling an information product. There's other things, there's Kajabi, there's all these different tools that we'll talk about. You need tools, you need tools. Just think about this. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. You ever heard that? If you bring a knife to a gunfight, you're gonna die. This is how it goes. If I have uh, you know, an AR rifle right here and you're standing 20 feet away from me and you got a knife, you're in trouble. Now maybe you can throw the knife and hit me but I'll tell you, if I had a choice, I'd rather have a more powerful tool to protect myself. In the same way, when you're building a business, you got to select the tool. Should you build a custom build site? Should you use WordPress? Should you use Kajabi? Should you use Amazon? Should you use Shopify? Should you use ClickFunnels? It's confusing. Now, I told you, if you don't know what to do, you can just get something up and going. But it's, I see people trying to make money online, and they pick the long, wrong tool. And then they come and they go, Ty, like, I didn't make any money. And I'm like, what tool did you use? And they're like, oh, Wix or some old school website thing. You built some 1997 DOS looking website and you can't figure out why you have no sales. Well, nobody wants to buy from your horrible tool. So I I'm gonna teach you that over two months in this test group. We have live calls. We're gonna have a, we have a private forum that only people, you can ask questions. You get, it's, it's a big thing that's gonna help you in the next two months. Okay. Next thing you're going to learn, and by the way, for those of you who get in, I got some special bonuses I'm going to do on this live call. So number five, numero cinco. I'm here, down here in San Diego, so I'm near Mexico, so I'm speaking a little more Spanish. <laughs> do you speak Spanish, Mel? No. No. Okay. Um, okay, number five, we're going to go into the financial mastery. So as I told you, we need to connect Stripe or Braintree or PayPal or Amazon, if you're selling with Amazon. By the way, there's now new options. You can sell with Bitcoin. You can sell with cryptocurrencies. PayPal is an alternate option. Uh, Amazon, of course, you don't have to know anything. And then we're going to talk about banking, how to set up your company, how to set up your business bank account. I'm going to walk you through step by step for those of you who get in the program. I've talked about it now. Basically, here's the deal. Some people get all the way to stage getting a website. And they get people to go to the website, but <laughs> they, can't, they can't get the money. I'm not joking to you. I had a friend set up a huge business in Brazil. He was making almost $1 million a month. It was two guys in Los Angeles. I won't say their name because it's kind of embarrassing. Over, they were selling over a, a million dollars a month, a month in Brazil. They were selling supplements. I forget what else they were selling, but they were selling this handful of funny things, right? And they never could get the money out. So they, they were like, because Brazil is very complicated. Same with China. Like they don't like the money to be sent out. So they, they basically had to buy a whole bunch of houses in Brazil 
and use the money there. But the problem is they never wanted to go to Brazil. So now that's a unique case because you're probably not going to sell most of your products to Brazil or maybe China. But I'm going to show you the mastery techniques that, I, that took me over a decade to learn how to, how to make sure you get the money deposited in your bank account. Seriously, I would tell you a true story. I was in Helsinki, Finland in probably like, I don't know, 2012, let's guess. I'm not that good with remembering years, uh, the year I was there, but like to say 2012. I was out salsa dancing, believe it or not. I used to be a professional salsa dancer and teach salsa. One of my first businesses that I built a long time ago was a salsa dancing website. It was instructions. It was called Latin Dance Now. It's not up anymore. I, uh, I never made much money with it because I like basically instead I got in the nightclub business and I like that better because like I was like, you know what? I'd rather meet girls in person than just teach salsa dancing online. So I started teaching salsa in person and um, used to teach like 100 people a night. And then I got in the nightclub business this is in North Carolina, a place called Red Room, a place called Parazod, uh, George's Graz and Spice Street. I pretty much had four clubs that I ran. Um, I had a business partner named Giorgio Batoxias and Jay Meziat. They were, uh, one was Greek. So I built this restaurant, got in this salsa thing. I go to Helsinki, Finland. I'm salsa dancing. It's like two in the morning in Helsinki. And I look down and I have a call from PayPal. And I, I listen to the voicemail because it was daytime in the US. So I'm like, ah, da, da. and it's like, we no longer want to, we were shutting down like 10,000 merchants. I hadn't done anything wrong. It, they just didn't want to be in that business anymore. And PayPal, shut, I was processing like $100,000 a week. And they're like, you have one week to move all your banking somewhere else. It was like a, it was like an automated message they sent. So I've never loved PayPal. That's why I said like PayPal is like, meh. But if you do this wrong, you're gonna make money and you're gonna get it frozen. And PayPal held like five, they had like $500,000 of my money. They released it after like one year. It was annoying. Because you know, 500 grand, it's a decent chunk of change. You can do a lot with 500 grand, right? If you had invested $100 in Bitcoin in 2010, you'd have $75 million today. So imagine what happens if you had put 500 grand, you, you couldn't even do that. But um, I want to show you in the test group, like the banking techniques that you need, how you don't mess everything up, how you know you don't have, how you don't figure out how to make money and then have somebody else steal it from you. That's basically kind of what happened. So this is important, this part. Um, by the way, I say a lot of questions. I'm going to answer questions live. These are pouring in. So excuse me if I haven't answered them all. There's been at least. 5,000 questions minimum so far. Somebody said, I need a job, haha. <laughs> Darren Mitchell, man, you don't need a job. You need to create a business, create income. You don't always have to have a job. You can always create a job. That's better. You can't be unemployed if you know how to create jobs. That's where people get messed up. How do you, how, how, who can fire you when you own the business? I mean, theoretically, you can go out of business if you don't know how to do it, but you're not gonna get fired. Okay, so the, the sixth thing I wanna show you, me and my team are gonna show you how to set up the drop shipping or white labeling. They're a little different. I'm grouping them together. You know, white drop shipping is, is, they're somewhat synonymous now. So I'm gonna show you, me and my team, for those of you who get in the test group, for the next two months, how to set this up. Do you go to China? Do you do Alibaba? You know, do you use local stuff? Do you use Amazon fulfillment and use their warehouses? Do you ship it out of your house? You know, we don't, use, like for the book company, um, we use a company out of Washington in the US to ship the mentor box, the books. I told you, shipped $750,000 I've made this month alone, 5.7 million in the last year uh, doing books and book related stuff. So we sell some online uh, books stuff too. So how do you do that? Because like some of you don't have enough money to just go out and buy 10,000 dog beds or 10,000 candles or 10,000 books or 10,000 pairs of glasses. Like that's not doable for most people, especially if you're starting. So 
one of my goals like for this test group, I wanna make sure by the time the two months is done, and some of you are gonna go much faster and some of you need more time. By the time the two months is done, you got something rocking and rolling. You have something rocking and rolling. Like, do you know how many people right now, if you don't believe me, at Thanksgiving or next time you're with all your family, just go talk to your family and say, did you have an idea that you wish you had done, but you procrastinated and never got around to doing it? Did you have an idea that you were too afraid to do? Every single adult in your family, every single person there is gonna be like, yes, yes, yes. And you regret the stuff you don't do. You know how many businesses, I like, I've done okay in business. There's people a lot richer than me, and there's people, a lot of people that are poorer than me. So someone said, Ty, are you in an Airbnb? No, this is the beach house I come down to. I leased it for a year. A lot of people are like, Ty, if you have money, why do you lease houses? I'm like, oh, the financial literacy of the United States scares me. Like some people try to flame me for leasing Lamborghinis and Ferraris. I'm like, you must be stupid. You know that rich people lease cars and lease airplanes. You know why you lease? Because it's tax deductible. Some of you, I'm gonna teach in the test group how the game really goes, guys. I buy stuff, like I like to buy, buy land because I can develop it. You wanna know how to make money in real estate? You develop land and you develop it right and people make 100 million bucks on one deal. You're never gonna buy a house and, set and make a $100 million profit, zero times. I mean, maybe one house in America has ever made somebody a profit of $100 million. So. Yeah, but I like to lease stuff. If you lease it through your business name, then it's tax deductible if you use it for business purposes. Um, so a little, that's a little sidetrack since I'm going live, but it, it actually illustrates the point of right here. I gotta teach you guys some financial literacy. Some of you are stupid enough. You're gonna make money and you're gonna buy a Lamborghini. Don't buy things that depreciate. Don't buy things that depreciate. Houses can appreciate, but right now, like this house is like a $10 million house. So if I buy this for cash, 10 million bucks, you know how much money I can make if I put $10 million more into my marketing? She, I can make 100 million, 50 million. I can make 50 million for sure right now if I invest 10 million. So this house isn't gonna appreciate to 50 million, so I lease it, let somebody else carry it, and uh, plus I get a tax deduction. So. A little side note for those of you who grew up in the public school system and don't know jack shit about money, welcome to the real world, guys. Some cars do appreciate, yeah. They appreciate teeny bit. <laughs> like you buy, a, you buy a car for 40 and it goes up to 60 in 10 years. Ooh, whoop de doo That's like 3% appreciation. I'm talking about this business that I'm talking to you guys about. I'm talking about stuff that will double your money. In a week, I've doubled my money. Now, I'm not promising you guys are gonna do that, but I'm just saying. Depends on how much skill you have. Okay, yeah, my YouTube Live went offline. Um, someone said, your social media program has already made me 30 grand. Cool, Matt Buchanan, cool. Yeah, dude, I've, I'm past the, t we're kinda past that age where people when I first came out in 2014 were like, oh, are you a scam tie? And of course everybody thinks it's a scam because I'm the first human to ever talk about making money like on YouTube really. And so automatically people think you're a scam artist. I'm like, oh, please, please, please. I actually now, I tell everybody, and it's funny, like now my students are starting to make money and people think that they're a scam. And I'm like, welcome to the world of jealousy and envy people. You can try to help other people and people are gonna get butt hurt because you're a little bit ahead of them. I hope all of you get ahead of me. I'm no, I don't have any envy, man. I see people, like I said, Naveen Jain was over at my house. He's worth, I think, two or, what did he say he's worth? Two billion? At least two, four billion dollars. I'm like, you think I get butt hurt? Um, okay, so we're gonna go into the drop shipping. Next, and this is super important. If you get in the test group, I'm gonna show you how to market the product using standout or controversy. I'm gonna show you how to use 
Instagram. I'm gonna show you how to use YouTube. I'm gonna show you how to use Google SEO. Me and my, my business partner will be teaching too. Look, there's other people teaching this. Ask them if they've ever spent $500 million on advertising. Me and him spent $500 million on online advertising. So you, you get what you pay for sometimes. You learn from people that don't know what they're talking about, you're not gonna get good results. So we, we know how to sell stuff online. Um, you probably wouldn't be here if I didn't know what I was doing. Sometimes people are like, how do I know you're good at marketing? I'm like, because you're watching me. And you know, it's a bitch to try to get people to watch you. Especially when I talk about subjects, like I'm not like the Kardashians. I'm not putting you know, sex tapes and stuff like that. That's super controversial. No hate on the Kardashians. I actually like the Kardashians for what they're doing. Do I agree with all their tactics? No, but I don't, no one agrees with, you never find somebody that's a saint in this world. And don't hate the player, hate the game. Like you can't hate them unless you hate the whole game of capitalism. And a lot of capitalism sucks, but a lot of it's good. Seriously, the average person in the world in every country in the world has more money than they ever did, unless you live in a communist country like North Korea, you know, it's not a great place to live. But I don't hate the game, and, and I don't think you should either. And, and, and now, Khloe Kardashian, she, I've seen her retweet my videos, so she's my favorite. She retweets me on Twitter, so she's now my favorite, um, because <laughs> I haven't met her, but, you know, the friend of your friend is your friend kind of thing. What is it, the friend of your enemy? Have you seen when Dwight Schrute on The Office does that? He's like, the friend of your friend is your friend. The friend, the enemy of your enemy is your friend. But the, what did he say? That the enemy of the friend of your enemy is your enemy. Anyway, I don't know why I said that, but I love The Office. If you don't watch The Office, Dwight Schrute is hilarious. I've actually gotten to know him. He came over to the house for dinner. Dwight Schrute, his real name is Ray Rain Wilson. He's a hilarious, he's funny in person too. I actually posted a YouTube video. Okay, back to this. We're gonna be talking about this. Somebody said, uh, so drop shipping, marketing, how to stand out, go viral. You gotta go viral. Viral's free money, man. Viral's free money. And just a little quick note, how to go viral. As I told you, I told you about the, there's basically, there's a good book on this called Contagious, uh, but we'll go even further than that because that book's not even totally written for the internet, but basically the way the world works. Uh, the, the world is not driven by governments. It's not driven by the Illum Illuminati. It's not driven by the Federal Reserve. You know, the most powerful force on Earth is inside your body. It's called DNA. And we have this thing at birth that our DNA commands us and we listen. It tells you to breathe. Try to hold your breath till you die. You know it's impossible? Your DNA, your blueprint of your body will override you. You might faint, but it'll always wake you up and make you breathe again. So when you understand how humans work, both yourself and people, you become a master at marketing. You become a master of selling dog beds. You become a master of selling glasses, of selling books. And one of the things that makes things go viral, uh, you need either things that make people laugh, either things that make people feel warm inside, good, either things that make people angry or outraged. You see that in the news. That's how the news sells their headlines. They do outrage marketing. Oh, you're not gonna believe this, blah, 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 okay? So when you understand those three things, you can create marketing and social media posts that drives traffic to your ClickFunnels, Shopify, or Amazon site 10 times faster than all your competitors. And there's other things. There's 25 cognitive biases of the human brain but these, I was talking specifically about virality. If you look, there's common themes that go viral, things that make you feel good. Like for example, uh, a veteran of Iraq comes back and his daughter doesn't know he's gonna be at the birthday and he walks in and she starts crying. Those videos go viral because they make you feel good inside. Videos, there was a video of this African like dictator guy that was, his name was Joseph Kony a few years ago and he was killing a lot of people. Like literally, it was genocide. Um, and that went viral because it made you outraged. You see funny things. How do you think America's Funniest Home Videos became the top TV show years ago? You watch people fall, you watch people, and still, if you go on Instagram, YouTube, it's a huge thing. Sports is a whole nother thing. Sports basically 
is from the cognitive biases of our brain that wants to create alliances. So people will die for their soccer team, like literally, even though the player might be switched from another team and suddenly you used to hate them and now you love them. It's not logical. Let me just throw that out. One other quick tool. You got to realize humans aren't logical. If humans were logical, the world would be a better place. But the world isn't logical. People go off vibes. And one of the things that you'll build when you go through my test group and learn how to build your website correctly and make money online is how to convey a vibe, the vibe that you want. Now, not everybody has to like it. But the people who do, if you do it correctly, will buy from you and they'll buy a lot from you. They'll buy, like I said, they'll buy, you know, five point, what did I say we're at for books? Not everybody likes books, but when you do it right, you'll get 5.7 million people. Look, we made another thousand dollars. Oh, here, you wanna see something cool? I'm gonna show you a close up. Uh, are we getting these enough on this, you think? No, no, like just throughout this whole thing. Like what? It's because we should, these are gonna be important. You almost should have a separate camera like looking and I can hold it over to you. Uh -huh. Let's do that on your phone. So let me just show you something. This is a cool, cool thing. Here's just a transfer. It's a little hard to see here. Yeah, whenever I do this, you can just kind of do a thing. Right here, it says $58,909 is gonna transfer. And here's, we, this bank, we use Silicon Valley Bank. So how would you, this is just, you know, every day we get a deposit. Here's the day right there for selling books. We get a check for $58,000. Here, let me try to go like that. Maybe we'll help. It's a little hard to, I don't know how to make it visible. There, I gotta go like, oh, let me dim it. Maybe I'll put night shift on. There you go, 58,000 to be deposited. It's kind of cool. That just popped up. It pops up and it's going to be deposited in our Silicon Valley Bank. This business I have is based out, out of San Francisco. But it's kind of cool. You know, imagine you're getting checks. Some of, the, some of the companies like Stripe will send them to you daily or weekly or monthly. It depends. Uh, most of my merchant stuff sends daily. So you'll get a check for 100 grand. I mean, a wire. They wire. When you connect your bank account, it'll wire right in. So it's kind of cool. Um, someone says, don't Mel or Nathan want some camera time? Mel, Nathan, do you guys want to come on here and do this talk for me? I'm starting to lose my voice. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to put the link below. Go to the link. I'll talk to you in a second about some of the, if you get in now, I'm going to put some bonuses. One cool thing in business, little side note, when you sell stuff on ClickFunnels, whether it's dog beds, always include bonuses. It's like a gift. One of the simplest marketing tools in the world that most people are too stupid to realize is gifts work. And in business, you call them bonuses. So always people are like, why do you add bonuses to stuff on Michael? I don't know, because it's a smart thing to do. <laughs> That's my answer sometimes. Like, would you, ra if, next time you went in, we were just talking about Chipotle earlier. If you went into Chipotle and they, they gave you a, you know, you got your burrito bowl or whatever, and they're like, you know what? Since you're such a loyal customer, the, uh, the guacamole is on us. The, you know how they're always like, the guacamole is too, like every, I hate that about Chipotle. You're like, dude, everybody in America knows the avocado's extra. You don't, and same with Subway, you don't have to say it. They're like, I, I sometimes wonder, do people flip out? They must, somebody must have had like literally shot up a Chipotle. They must have gone on there, gotten their Chipotle thing. They're like, uh, I want guacamole. The person forgot to say it. They put guacamole, they got to the thing, and it was like $7, and they're like, $7? It was supposed to be five. It was like blasted the whole place. So they didn't make a corporate policy. 100% of the time, somebody asks for guacamole, you gotta say, hey, you know it's extra? I'm like, yes, I know it's extra, shut up. So they should just give it away as a damn bonus. And they should do it every fifth time you come in, you get your free guacamole. That's a bonus. 
Some of these companies that you think are so genius, they're not that dumb. They're not that smart. They're really not. Blockbuster wasn't that smart. Like Blockbuster didn't realize that people maybe don't want to have to drive to a video store and people don't appreciate $300 late fees. Like people don't, uh, each of you watching, one of the things that's going to make you money is the stupidity of other people. You'll even see it in some of the comments here. Sometimes the comments that are in here, I'm like, oh my God, is this the planet that I live on? Are people this dumb? Like with modern education, has it helped? Because they say IQs are going up, but I'm like, where? Like, I don't always see it. Where the hell, where the hell are the brains coming from? I mean, the, the lowered IQ coming from, the lack of brains. Okay, so here's some bonuses I'm gonna give you. If you get in now, so basically the way the test group works, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna give you a scholarship too. That's a big thing. I'm not gonna charge, because how much should I charge for this thing? Well, when I first started, like in 2012 and 13 doing consulting, I charged, my flat rate was $25,000. And by the way, cool thing is this glasses company, the guy who runs it for me, I'm a partner, there's three of us. We own it 33% each. So this company right here, oh look, it got more sales while we're here. It's made $817 selling glasses. Yesterday it sold 1,600. The day's not over, of course, today. Um, and then on Amazon it sells about three times more. This guy who built this business with me, he, was, he paid me 25 grand in 2013 for me to help him. His name is James Swanick. These glasses are named after him. We call them Swannies, him and his brother. And um, I remember him being like, Ty, 25 grand, like that's so much money. Like, and I said, well, you don't have to pay me then and I'm not gonna help you. Like I'm busy guy, like I'm not trying to be a jerk, but why do I have to give my time to people? They're not giving anything to me. And so I gave a, so after like, he's like, dude, I own one piece of property in Australia and it's worth around 25 grand, I gotta go sell it, and it's my last dollar to give to you. And I said, oh man, you don't have to give me your last dollar, do whatever you wanna do. And about a week later, he, he wrote me and he said, um, okay, Ty, I'm ready, I'm in. And he, he got in and I trained him. Um, I did the same thing, but for one year. So this is a two month program, but once a year, I talked to him like once a month on the phone. That was a little more in person. I can, obviously can't do that quite as much, but I'm not gonna charge you 25 grand. But this same information, and now he built his first multi-million dollar company with my help, and I asked him, I just interviewed him on my podcast. For those of you who listen to my podcast on iTunes or Spotify, there's a, you'll see there's a one we're talking about two brothers selling glasses. And um, he, I said, did I help you? And he's like, dude, I tried 10 businesses before I met you, all of them failed. So he wired me 25 grand. And it was, I, I didn't even need the money like the reason I did it was because people don't take things seriously. Like when you pay for stuff, you take it seriously. And I think it's insane. People pay for community college and even college to get a degree and then they can't get a job and nobody calls that a scam. Well, depends on your definition. But the way I look at a scam is if you pay a lot of money and it doesn't work out for you, because it didn't equip you for what you needed, you got ripped off. Now, if you knew that an art history degree, if they told you up front on college, listen, we're gonna give you this art history degree. There's 50,000 people in America graduating with art history degree and there's only 1,000 jobs. You do know that, right? And you go, yes, I'll still pay 50 grand. Then, that's you. But a lot of people go into school and they think that they're going to get a tangible benefit that really helps them in the marketplace. What I'm gonna show you in this test group is going, no matter what happens in the world, people are gonna buy stuff online. It's not a fad, it's not a trend, it's not new. This thing is going to be here. And a lot of you are almost too late to get in. Trust me, some people, some of the things you wanna do, like build Netflix, don't try to build the next Netflix. They got that thing on lock. Five years ago you could have done it, but you're already too late. So the longer you wait, the later this thing gets. It just gets later and later and later and later. So here, let me give you the most important bonus of all time. Um, and you know, talking about the price, 
I could charge 25 grand. That was what I used to do. But then I realized I couldn't help that many people. I did like, I'd help five, six people a year just on the side. Uh, so I decided I do these things at my house. They're called master plan seminars. When I do them two days, there were 10 grand. People just two months ago, people were just paying me 10 grand for that. And they came to my house for two days. And that's too expensive for me when I got started. It's too expensive. I know I got a lot of people watching me that are 18 or they're 50 and they haven't saved up much money. So I said, you know what? Maybe I'll do it you know, for five grand. And I do a seminar, by the way, at my house. I change it to one day for five grand. But I bet most of you can't afford that. So I thought I would do it for 20. I just keep going basically in half. 2,500. I've done seminars at my house for 2,500. 100 people just came, made 250 grand the other day doing it. It's not my main income source or anything. Some people say, well, isn't that a lot of money? It ain't as much money. You know how much money Harvard makes? These are <laughs> almost trillion dollar institutions if you look at their all the assets they have under management and pension funds and all that. So no, it's not that much money. Um, but here's the deal. I'm not even going to charge a thousand bucks. I'm going to charge under a thousand dollars. Basically, I could, if you get in now, that's the first bonus. I'm not going to charge you what it costs. And some people say, oh, no, that's not. That's still too much. Well, I'm not even charging a thousand bucks. So if you think it's too much, then go to community college. Go take a class on how to sell online from a professor who never made jack shit online. I, it, you get what you pay for. You know, some people go, oh, I'm just going to buy a book for five bucks, ten bucks. There is no book that's cutting edge. I love books, but you think books are cutting edge? How can you write a cutting edge book? By the time you write the book, publish it, get it out in you know, Barnes and Noble, it's already outdated. I just read a book on marketing the other day, a new one that came out, and it was how to use Meerkat live streaming. I'm like, Meerkat doesn't exist anymore. They're writing books about companies that are long gone. They're writing books that don't have Instagram stories in them yet. That's relatively new. They're, they're writing about stuff that's just like, oh my gosh. So you, the reason I like online programs is because I can put the newest material like right up there instantly for you. Something changes or some new tool, some new tech. I'm changing techniques. Watch my stuff online. You think I'm advertising, marketing, making money the same way I did one year ago, even six months ago. You have to be a cutting edge type business person, entrepreneur, if you want. And it's fun. I love it. People go, oh, is that hard? No. It's an adventure, man. You want an adventure. And this is the ultimate adventure. It's fun. You think I'd go back? People go, well, isn't it risky? Oh, no, it depends what you consider risky. I haven't had a salary job or an hourly income since I was 16 years old. I worked at Office America. You know the funny thing? Guess what happened to Office America? Bankrupt. So what would have been the riskiest thing was for me to stay at Office America till they went bankrupt. I moved on, man. I moved on. And what do you think I'd rather be making? You know, $100,000 a day or at... I think I made $6 an hour when I was working at Office America, and then they lay me off. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got protection. You get pro Once you know how to sell online, you're protected from recessions. Now, you might be affected, but you're still protected. There's a difference. So this next bonus I'm going to give you, for those of you who get it now, is the most important one, literally. Number two bonus. For those of you getting the test group before it closes, and by the way, it will close. These bonuses will be gone. Okay, a hundred percent money back refund. This is the most important, and this di this differentiates me from community college, regular college, even books that I love. You don't really get re. You know how much textbooks cost? Like textbooks cost. $1,000. You think it costs them 1000 bucks to make a test book? No. No. And can you get your money back if you don't like the course? Well, you can try to rent the book back. You can sell it secondhand, but you're not getting 100% of your money back. I will give you, if you go through this program two months and you don't think this thing works and it didn't help you and you think it sucked, I'll press one button. My staff will press one button 
it instantly wires all the money back to you. It instantly, but it still takes about three to five days. But you get all your money back. We won't keep any of the money. That's it. So now, by the way, this test group is level one. There's multiple levels to this. This is the online and live streaming version, level one. We have a level two where you can actually come to my house and my, me, I'm doing one this Saturday. You guys missed it, it's already full. But basically, uh, there's level two. But today, I'm only talking about level one. I don't wanna get ahead of myself. First, start at level one. If you want, once you're in level one and you're in it, if you wanna go to level two or level three, you can do that. That's where it's in-person training. But I'm not talking about that now because uh, it's already full. So you'll see on my Snapchat. It's, it's pretty cool. So 100% money back refund if it doesn't work for you. That's for some of you that are on the fence, please realize that's very real. We refund people. And the cool thing is the reason I refund is because I have one of the lowest refund rates. I hired a consultant. He told me my refund rate is literally a third of the average person who sells, you know, some kind of online thing. By the way, I see a lot of questions. Someone said, Ty, this guy's a real deal. Just this alone is of great value. Thank you, man. Jamal, thank you. Somebody said, Alexia Matos, for real. Hey, Ty, good evening. It's cool. Man, live streaming. I'll show you how to use live streaming, by the way. You can sell a lot of stuff on live stream. It's not the main way I sell, but <clears throat> you got to understand the difference between branding and marketing. So branding, this is branding. And you can do that if you're selling dog beds, if you're selling salsa, if you're selling books, if you're selling glasses, if you're selling water. I haven't even gotten. I'm going to show you at the end of this how to build a water business. This business, if you saw my Snapchat, this is a good business to get in. Little niche things you can do with water. It doesn't always have to be plain water. You, you can add carbonation. It's a little more advanced business, but it's huge. Someone said, dude, this info is gold. Thanks, man. Water business is saturated. Yeah, but it's saturated because everybody in the world drinks water. Sometimes saturated businesses are the best businesses to be in. I'm going in the snack food business soon. Every day, common household items can make you money. That's the whole point of this conversation. So don't ever say, well, everybody sells food. Yeah, but Uber Eats came in, disrupted the food game, put in restaurants, completely changing the restaurant game. So it wasn't oversaturated. It wasn't oversaturated, but in a way it was saturated because everybody is buying food and everybody's getting the idea of delivering food and stuff like that. But nah, it ain't too, it's not too, uh, I would not say some things are too saturated. I don't believe healthy food is people are switching to healthy food. Sal salmon jerky, one of the big companies I posted on my Snapchat, they're doing, they're doing this jerky stuff. Okay. The next bonus is, and this is huge, I talked about this. I'm gonna give you access to a 24 hour, 24 seven private group of people doing this, of experts and students. You're gonna learn so much in this group. I call it a tribe. I built special software. For those of you who click the button below, get access to the, uh, the test group. You're literally going to get access not only to the online videos, you can download them audio, you can listen to them when you're on a treadmill, you can listen to them when you're on a subway to work or driving, you can listen to audio. Um, so you can do that. I recommend it, it's gonna take you about 15 to 20 minutes a day, that's all you have to listen to. You can listen to it while you do other stuff. You're gonna get access to the once a month, we'll go live, uh, you can save your questions if you wanna ask me or my team, we'll be talking once a month, we'll then, give you, like I said, the money back guarantee. I'm gonna discount the program under $1,000. You'll see, you're not gonna pay 25,000, uh, even though that's what people have paid for this information. Then you're gonna access to the tribe, the 24 seven. You can go in there, you ask a question, people respond. It's very important that you not just learn from me, but you learn from other people so you can learn from other beginners mistakes and things like that. So it's, it's huge that you're, I'm gonna give you that. Okay, the next thing, I just wanna show you one quick thing here too. Remember this, this is how life goes. It's a little, they call this binary in computers. Here's you before you got on this call, okay? 
you came down to here and you have a choice. I'm like, go in the test group or not. If you say no, that's fine. Life's at a crossroads, you go here. Now where do you go from here? You could say, do I just start doing this on my own? Okay, you can try that. So this is no, you're not gonna go in the test group. Yes or no, you're gonna try it on your own. So let's say you say yes. Now if you say no, we're done. The, the, cross, the crossroads ends because you're just gonna go on with the job you have now or the lack of job and you ain't gonna make much money. If you go this way, now you get to figure out how to do it on your own. And you can rewatch this video maybe, if I got a replay. Um, you can piece together. Some people say, oh, you can, can you just Google this stuff? Eh. Have you ever Googled stuff about making money? It is some of the worst advice ever. If you literally Google how to make a million dollars, the one of the first websites that comes up said that you should um, be an Uber driver for 30 years. That's one of the pieces of advice. One of them was to, to babysit for like 25 years. I'm like, oh my, and save all the money. It's just, sometimes free advice, like I said, sometimes you get what you pay for. If you like needed advanced heart surgery, would you try to find the cheapest surgeon in the world? Would that be your number one goal? Hey guys, like my heart is not going so well. Who's the cheapest discount surgeon on planet Earth, that's what I want. Is there like a Walmart for cheap plastic, uh, cheap uh, cardiologist? I need the cheapest one. Well, this one's not that good, I don't care how much it, well, no one's that stupid when it comes to their health, but it's hilarious. When it comes to making money, people are like, who's the very cheapest person? That could, do you think people who make money aren't valuable in terms of them being your teacher? You know what I do now? I spend over $100,000 a month on trainers in all areas of my life, whether they be consultants, whether they be people who like training, physical training, jujitsu. I'm like, who's the most expensive teacher? That's what I ask. And I used to not be able to do that, and I know you can't always do that. But I promise you that sometimes people are penny wise and dollar foolish. And so, Yes, you'll have to pay some money to be in the private test group, but guess what? This opens up. Now, will you be learning from people who have done it? Yes. Will you be learning from people who may spent marketing? Will you be learning no or yes from people who spent over $500 million on online advertising? Yes. Like the trail goes further when you do it right. Over here, it's like, will you be learning from somebody who's done it before? No. And anytime you hit a no, a lot of times the, thing, the trail ends, and that's why so many people stop right there. So apply the same brain power you do to your mechanic. Do you try to always buy the very cheapest car? That's another thing. People will be like, no, I'm upgrading my car. I'm upgrading my car. Well, car, doesn't matter. You can roll down the windows manually, or you can have electric windows. You can, it, like, that doesn't affect the quality of your life, but your income does. It's been proven over and over. Money won't make you happy, but not enough money will make you unhappy. Think about what I just said. Money doesn't guarantee happiness, but lack of money guarantees stress. Trust, people go, oh no, poor people are happier than, no they're not. Just Google it, if you believe Google. Higher suicide rate among poor. Higher stress level. You think single moms are not stressed out? Yes, they are. So I highly, highly, highly recommend you don't buy the hype that money is a scam, making money is a scam, it's not a worthy goal. The way you're gonna make money is by helping more people. So helping the more people you help will bring you more money, but it will help more people. Do you think we're in a worse or better world because Elon Musk is a billionaire? I think we're in a better world. For the last 50 years, all the car companies, Ford, GMC, Toyota, they could have made a good electric car. Toyota kind of did with Prius. But Tesla came along and built a better car. They've helped more people than Ford. And you know what? Ford is a company that's less valuable now than Tesla. Tesla is now worth more money. And of course, the owner and the founder, Elon Musk, 
his income and net worth went up accordingly. But it's a better world. So don't buy into the, oh, money is evil. Money is a necessity. If done right, it will make you happier. If you've done wrong, it can make you unhappy. But one of the things we'll talk about in that program, you can ask me, for those of you who start making money in the, on the live, uh, when we do the live calls, I'll be giving you instruction. Like I literally, one of my top students, Jaden, was at my house the other day. He paid $10,000 for one day to be, uh, I do a, a inner circle round table, I call it. And um, he's making so much money, he's almost getting scammed out of it. I had to give him so not really, I don't want to put him on the, but he has a problem that very few people have. He's like, I got an extra, you know, quarter of a million dollars. Should I invest it in this idea, this idea? I'm like, let me guide you. Because some of you are going to make a lot of money and some of you are going to lose it all. I got a friend in Los Angeles, sold his company for $18 million in 2000, I think, seven. I see him at Laker game now. And he took it and he bought some cars and he bought a house and then he invested four million in a real estate deal one of his friends told him to do out in the desert between Los Angeles and, and Vegas. And then the, the deal, they were like, we need a little more money. We didn't finish building, so they gave him more money and he gave another four million. He ended up putting eight to 10 million in. Remember, when you make 18 million, you gotta pay taxes. Even if it's long-term capital gains, and you got state tax, let's say he paid 20, 30%, so 18 million off the top, he lost about, let's just say 4 million, 5 million to taxes. So he's got about 12 million, 13 million. He bought some houses and cars, now he's down to 9 or 10 million. And then he put 9 million, and guess what happened? When 2008 came, that real estate went zoop to zero. I don't know what happened to the house, it's a ghost town out there. And he, lost, he had to go back and start working again. Now he does have a nice house and some nice cars that are paid off, but he got no income. So that's why I said one of the important things for each of you is not just how to make money, but follow the decision tree all the way to the logical, correct, yes, no path cycle, the binary cycle that not only you make money, but you keep the damn money. I promise you, a lot of people make the money and lose it. You know, Mike Tyson made $600 million and then if you read his autobiography, one of, his, one of the pages says that he um, had to, he could not get a $100 hotel room for him and his wife. He went from 600 million to zero, zero. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do question and answers. You're at a crossroads. Make the right choice for you. If you're on the fence, don't go in it. I'm not a high pressure salesman. I, I'm at the point now where I, I actually don't even want the people who are skeptical and cynical. Sometimes people are like, prove to me I should learn from you. I'm like, no, no. That automatically disqualifies you. And that doesn't mean you're a bad person. Why would I want to be around bad vibes? I have already know this stuff works. If so, I've shown you screenshots, not even screenshots, I've shown you logged in pages. If you already know how to sell household items and make a million bucks a month, then you don't need this program, you know? But very few do. I've made five million bucks a month selling. Like I don't even say my income right now because then it just creates more cynicism. So I just lowball it. There's websites that guess my income and net worth. I don't care if they lowball it. So I'm like, lowball it all you want. All I care about is do I like my life? And I like my life doing the things that I do. You see them on social media. And I like my life around a handful of curious, interesting people that want to grow together. And if that's you, let's do it. If it's not, then I wish you luck on this path. Some of you, by the way, will go on this path and do fine. But I promise you, you're going to meet some of my students in the world of competitive business, and they're going to smoke you because they got 10 years experience in their head that they downloaded from me and my business partners. Like you're not gonna be able to beat them very easily, seriously. It's just, that's why I have business partners because I like to do business with people who already know how to rock and roll. And that's basically what this test group is. It's you being involved. Now we're not in business together per se as a business partner, but the analogy still holds, you know what I'm saying? So let me take some questions um, there's really not that much more. I'm gonna take some questions. Click the button. I mean, there's not that much more 
I can say, I can talk for another two, I've been on here for two hours and six minutes. I can go for 30 hours. But um, let me take some question and answer. For those of you ready to go, go here. This will, the stuff that I'm talking about will close up, okay? I've done it over and over this last year and people think it's just a tactic to get more people to buy. No, it's a tactic to get people in and let's get you going. Somebody said you made five million in a month. Yes, I've done more than five million online in a month. What do we have? If you don't see the link, come back to my website or watch my social media. Sometimes links are glitchy, but it should be right below. Um, or you can go to tylopez.com. There should be a link on the top nav bar. If you don't see it, come back tomorrow, okay? It should be around at least one more day. Um, can I work for you? I just posted a link. I just posted a link to work uh, for sales, but that's in San Francisco. You gotta live or move to San Francisco. Do you have to pay for ClickFunnels? Yeah, all those services, I mean Amazon, ClickFunnels is not that expensive though. But I don't, I don't make any money off ClickFunnels. I could be an affiliate, maybe I will become one, but I'm not one right now. Um, so, is there an age limit? No, man. Go back, I hope you guys watch my Snapchat because I post the most raw, real stuff. I did a conference two Fridays ago or one, about 10 days ago, something like that. And this, uh, this dad brought his two sons, one's 15 and one's 18. They are beating Samir and Juan. They're like, oh, Ty, you talked about two of your students, Samir and Juan doing like uh, uh, 75,000 or they, their best month was 200. This 15 year old showed me his Shopify. Like he could, you can't lie. That's the cool thing about seeing people's login. And he was killing it. He was killing it. Um, oh, well, yeah. Let me, um, live stream still offline. No, it's not. Is the program available offline? Yeah, when you get access to it, you can download it. But it's not available like in a book or anything. Do you need startup capital? Not a ton, not a ton, not a ton. Like you need some to get in the course. Um, it, it should be able to be up and going in less than $1,000. Now, what do you do if you don't have $1,000 to start your initial ClickFunnels or Shopify? You know, one of the things people can do if you really want something, go to your family, ask 10 of them for 100 bucks. Now, sometimes like your family doesn't have that, but I've borrowed money before. Don't get yourself in a huge hole, okay? Don't go out and borrow. Like there was a guy who was in one of my other, I have a program that's closed now, it's called, it's basically I personally mentor people once a week, and it's just a small group. I think I let 1,000 people in or something. and they pay like a grand or something each. And I, I take them through this course, but it's not open, you can't go in it. It's one of the ones I opened and then closed. And a guy, first day he got in there, he's like, I'm gonna get in the coffee shop business and I've spent 100, or I'm about to sign a $100,000 lease on an office, I mean on a restaurant space. And I'm like, no, 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 dude. No, you don't, don't put all your money in something you haven't done yet. So what he did, I said, just start selling coffee delivered from your kitchen in most states, or I don't even know, I th yeah, he was from the US. I was like, check the laws if it's legal to just cook, you know, make coffee in your own kitchen, because it's not, like if you cook food, you gotta get, a, you gotta get your uh, kitchen license. But I said, just go deliver coffee to people. And he's like, oh, thank, like a month later, he's like, thank you, Ty, I just talked to him, he's like, saved me so much money. I was about to drop a hundred grand and now I'm making money right from my house. So it's another business. You can, and the cool thing about coffee delivery, set it up online and then deliver it in person. That's another thing. We'll talk about that in the test group, hybridized businesses. So like, if you think about Uber Eats, it's like online cause it's an app, right? But it, it's a hybrid because it, it delivers you the, the food via, you know, in person right away. So it's not completely on, like an ebook is completely, you purchase it and you download, it's all electronic, there's nothing physical, but there's a huge room for like these, these. that's why I said Chipotle was dumb. If I was any of these companies, I would have built out Uber Eats or 
I don't know, maybe I wouldn't have been that smart, but in hindsight, I would. Like build Chipotle, use Uber, maybe cut a deal with Uber. This is before Uber Eats, they should have done it. It would have driven so much more sales. Do you know how hard it is to drive anywhere and go places? Restaurants, I think the future of restaurant, by the way, is definitely not people going to restaurants. People are gonna be Netflix and chill sitting in their house. I read a book 20 years ago on this by a lady named Faith Popcorn, and she said a future trend, she's a trend uh, predictor, and she predicted a trend called cocooning. She said cocooning is what humans are gonna do. If you give them a choice between having to go to a video store blockbuster and be able to sit in the cocoon of their house and have things delivered through Netflix, they're gonna always choose Netflix, and sure enough, she was right. If you give them the choice between going to Walmart and leaving their home, their cocoon, their safe place, versus Amazon ships it right to you very quickly now, Amazon's gonna win. And we know Walmart's struggling uh, massively compared. Somebody said, what kind of name is Faith Popcorn laughing my ass off? No, she got the last laugh because you remember her name, my friend. Controversy marketing, standout marketing. You don't, don't name your, your, you can make up an author name. Don't write your book. If your name's John Smith, don't be like your name's John Smith. Come up with like, you know, Elvis Preston or something like that. I'll remember, I'll be like, is this Elvis Presley wrote a book? Is Elvis still alive? Elvis Preston. So Faith Popcorn is a damn good name. Just some of you don't know enough about marketing to know that this whole group now is gonna forever remember the name Faith Popcorn. She got the W, you got the L, whoever wrote that. So I told you, if you're playing poker in a room and after 30 minutes you don't know the sucker in the room is, you're the sucker. The guy who was laughing at Faith Popcorn, or the girl, I don't know who it was, you know? Have you ever made a million in a day? Yeah, in about eight, uh, 30 hours or so, I made a million before. Selling just online, not counting, you know, but yes. What kind of water do I drink? Well, new, usually not this one. This is like the worst. This is like oh, 360. Oh, this is, isn't this Whole Foods brand? Yeah, I don't, spring water is okay. I'm trying to buy a farm that has a huge spring on it. I want to get in that business, man. It's a good business. Someone said, ha ha, that dude got schooled. <laughs> I wasn't trying to school anybody. He was just so sure of himself that it was a dumb name. I was like, nah. Be careful when you laugh at people who are killing it. Ty, have you ever been ripped off? I guess you're asking that because you're wondering if you click the button and you get in, would it be a rip off? Here's the deal. Most of the time you'll be ripped off is not by things you do, but by things you don't do or you don't do correctly. I mean, that, just think of it this way. There's traditional education and there's alternate, alternative education. A lot of people wish they had done some level of alternate stuff. I give, let's do a real practical. How many people here wish instead of what they had done which was go through regular school, first grade, second grade, third grade. Who here wishes they were really good at musical instrument? Like some of that time they'd sat down with like a master piano player who had not only taught them like drills, but made piano fun. And now you'd be an adult and you'd be able to go to a party and sit down and just like, if you're a guy, like all the girls turn around cause you just, or you pull out the guitar. You know, half the reason Justin Bieber, all these dudes, girls love dudes who can play guitar. There's actually scientific studies. Number one thing a man can be carrying that gets a woman, to, that literally 10 times increases the chance that she, he'll get her phone number if he walks up to her like in the park or on the street. It's not a gym bag showing that you work out because a lot of women are like, oh, meathead, dumbass. It's not like you walk up with like a suitcase and a power suit to show you have money. Google it. A guy, they did a study, all these different things. The only thing uh, actually, a gym bag, I think, decreased the chance that a girl would give you her phone number. It was a guitar. Women love artists. Trust me. You don't see, you know, what do you think girls grow up pictures of, of like their childhood crush? Sometimes it's actors, but it's mostly musicians. Mostly music. It was like NSYNC and Justin Timberlake, and now it's Bieber. And even dudes love Selena Gomez and all this stuff. It, it, Ariana Grande, you look at her Instagram, she's got to be one of the most popular people in the world. Rihanna, all this. So 
going back to your question about scam, like it's the stuff we didn't do that scammed us. Like I went to school, even some school had like a band practice, but it was stupid. You're like in a room, you get like a tuba, or you're like, no one wants to play the tuba. Where was the guitar class? They took all the boys that are nerds that can never get girls and was like, listen to me, son. Learn this bad boy right here, and I don't care what you look like, even if you can't sing. If you can just play an amazing tune, it's gonna increase your dating life success. So the scam was what we didn't get. Who here, which guy, is super excited that they didn't learn uh, martial arts in school? All those years in school. Remember like PE class sometimes? It's like walk around the track. I'm like, woohoo, good use of taxpayer money. Let's walk around the track. That is so smart. They, because they were so politically correct, they were worried that if they did anything real, somebody would have a heart attack. Why not have a jujitsu class or a boxing class? Which dude here is super excited by the fact that they're not a badass with their hands, with their feet, you know, with jujitsu? Is anybody here like, you know what, mate? Like, dudes love the fact every guy's dream is like, the girl of their dream is at a bar, and some dude walks up to him and is like pestering him, and the girl's like, leave me alone. And they walk up to the girl, the guy, and be like, the lady wants to be left alone. And the guy's like, who the fuck are you? And you're like, listen, man, let's just end this. And the guy takes a swing at you, and you wah, wah, counter it and knock him out. And then you turn to the girl and are like, I'm very sorry he was rude. And you walk off, and the whole bar is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, if you know how to box, Boxing or you'll put people to sleep in one second. I don't care how big they are if you really know how to, you don't, boxers have fast hands. And almost every guy in the world could have gained that skill. So the scam was not what you did as much as what you didn't do. Someone said, is that Ty's fantasy? A lot of guys have that fantasy. It's not my number one fantasy, but I'll tell you this, it's not a horrible feeling. You, there's a bank robber. And like behind you, you see him slipping the note and he's like, everybody put their hands down. And you know Krav Maga, you take the gun away from him, knock him out, the police come. No dude's gonna be that sad about that. You could learn, Krav Maga takes a decade to learn. So all the scams is all the stuff you don't know, trust me. So this is all about learning something new. You don't get scammed. Like I've never bought a book and been like, scam, like. <laughs> This is basically a book, for all of you people who are slow, this is basically a book that you can access on your phone. Like sometimes like, Ty, online courses are scams. No, they're books the way they're gonna be taught in the modern world. That's, that's, the, that's, that's how the world goes. Guys, the thing's progressing. We used to have like parchment paper in the Nile, you know, in the Nile Delta in, in Egypt and we'd write on parchment, the document, uh, you know, the de uh, Declaration of Independence was like a feather pen. We don't use feather pens anymore. We then use real pens and then we use it uh, and now we're in the world of online classes. So I just read a great book, The End of College. The End of College, man. College is on the way. Can you open it for me? Okay. Yeah, The End of College is a badass book. The US Army in 1947 started studying distance education. And digi uh, distance education they thought would do worse than in-person education. Guess what? After, it's been repeated studies over and over. The last one to 200, uh, they've done 100 to 200 scientific studies. People learn just as well online as they do in person. So is college outdated? No, but I think 50% of people in the world should go to college, certain degrees. Accounting is great, uh, med school, obviously being a lawyer. I think a lot of stuff that people go to college, like one of my brothers went to school for Spanish. Oh my God. He got in debt $80,000 at UNC in North Carolina. And guess what? He can hardly speak Spanish. I said, why don't you just want to travel around the world, man? Get paid. If you're gonna go 80 grand in debt, wouldn't it be cooler to go 80 grand in debt from your travel bill? four years traveling the world, I'm like, go to Argentina, go to Colombia. You know how 80 grand, and, and that's just, he had a little bit of scholarships or whatever, he, probably the total cost is like 200 grand. You know what you can do with a quarter, a million dollars down in South America? Number one, you'll learn great Spanish, like real Spanish. 
like not a classroom where you learn like la biblioteca, like just stuff you never use. Like you, you learn just like Spanish that don't, nobody speaks. He could have been zero dollars in debt because he could have got a job, but he didn't get a job and he doesn't speak Spanish. But he did have 80 grand debt that stressed him out. I don't think it's paid off yet. So who are you? You know, so, but people who go to med school, doctors, they need to go to college. So not everybody, it's just like one of those things. People want to make it, they, they're so extreme. Everybody's so extreme in the modern world. They're like, huh, is college horrible? No one should go? You do not help your own brother. No, I did help my brother. I'm actually the only person in the family that helped my brother or one of the only people. But I ain't getting people, I don't have to, it's not my, I don't have to get, you can help people, with, but also let people learn their own lessons. You don't have to solve every problem that people have 100%. You, you, you make an effort, and I did make an effort, and I helped my brother big time, um, but I didn't pay off the whole debt. Like, that's, if you think that's bad, you can pay it off though. I'll send you a link. Since you're such a justice crusader for morality, feel free. <laughs> Show me that you paid off your brother. A, a lot of people want to call you out. I'm like, let me call you out. Send me your $80,000. Have you helped your grandma $80,000? Did you help your mom eight? Send me the bill, and then you can speak. When you can't, don't speak on things that you can't do yourself. It makes you look dumb, man. Seriously, never, never be a moral, that's one thing I've learned. You watch politics. Be careful of being a moral crusader, man, because the life, life, we all do stuff that eventually, when we're the moral crusader, it's like the, the Christian pastor who's like, I hate gay guys. And then this dude's in the, in the bathhouse with gay guys. You look dumb, just drop it. Don't talk about it. Don't, d life's hard enough on your own to lecture other people, I'm telling you. So, especially about morality. Like, I stay away from that. Like, I, I, I'm not a moral warrior. I think you should be moral, but I, I talk about business. I talk about what I do. If you are religious, Master, then I hope we need more of you. Go fix, go fix uh, freaking Washington, D.C. Someone said vegans are moral crusaders. Okay. How do I apply to San Francisco? Is selling online education your largest income? It's become a pretty big part of my income now, but in lots of different ways. I do different stuff now, not just like one product or something. I like to diversify, but it used to be a smaller part. Now it's bigger. I've done many things. I've been in nightclub business. My first business was in the healthy food business. Uh, I've done real estate. I've done um, uh, consulting was a cool business. I like that. That was, one of my, that was one of my businesses. So I've done lots of different things online. So physical things, not physical things. Oh, we got to wrap up. We got only four minutes left on this camera card. So click the link if you don't see the link. You should see the link, but if you don't, um, watch my social media. I'll put a link. But for everyone else seeing a link, click here. The next page will be a 256-bit SSL encrypted page. Um, you enter, as quickly as you can enter your card, you'll get in the test group. And I'll be seeing some of you on these live calls. And some of you might go to level two or level three. When you get in the program, this level one of the program, the online stuff, the once a month live call, uh, I'll assign you a concierge from my office, and if you want to find out about coming to level two or level three, you can talk to them. You, you got to apply to that. But this level one, next page, go ahead, get in. It's not expensive relative to what you're going to get. Learn to make money online. Learn how to create robotic income for you. Okay? So talk to you guys soon.